welcome everybody to the Majestic Goose Network. Uh, <clears throat> I immediately, as soon as I started looking at my levels to test things out, realized that I need to plug on some uh, fil audio filter. So while I do that, uh, I'm Adam Deweese. I am going to be playing in this fantastic one shot. Get the Tortle Cleric Druid Wizard Sorcerer Barb. Barda, not Barb, Barda. <laughs> uh, that's right, we are level five in this one shot and I multi-classed every single level into almost every spell caster. I think I just missed Warlock. Um, Git is a very curious turtle, tortle, um, and with such uh, brings an inability to commit to one uh, subclass so, uh, or class. So. He's got a, a gong that doubles as his bardic instrument and also his shield. Um, he's got a spell book hanging around and maybe a uh, amulet to Shantae. Like it's just, he's, his outfit makes no sense. Um, but uh, that's, that's just who he is. Uh, let's go down the order of players real quick and go straight down to Cage. Cage, who are you playing tonight? What's up, y'all? I'm Cage. I use she, hers pronouns. I'll be playing Gigi, the half-orc monk, who also uses she, hers pronouns. If you joined us for the Majestic Goose Network uh, holiday one-shot this last winter, uh, wow, we're almost back around to that period of time again, uh, you might remember Gigi as um, she was uh, featured in, in that game as well. Yeah, don't remind <clears throat> me how late in the year it is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jeremy, who are we playing? Hey, I'm Jeremy, and I am playing Eric the Magnificent. And Eric is a fantastic, most wonderful kids party magician that you've ever seen. Um, Eric is a hill dwarf. He is an evocation wizard, and he uh, makes a living by doing cheap parlor tricks for children at their birthday party. Uh, most of the time, he lives in Waterdeep, but sometimes he'll travel to different places to do bigger gigs, whatever, wherever the coin is. Um, he's a, a real short dwarf with uh, red hair and a red beard. He usually is wearing uh, like a dark blue sort of outfit that has like lime green and red uh, textures and designs on it. And he has a cape that comes off the back. He also has a very large spell book that is kind of like a burnt umber color and then like really bright, vibrant lime green on the outside. His shoes and his book and his belts and his clothes all match all the time <laughs> i 1000 percent was not expecting that accent when you were opened oh, your mouth <laughs> I, oh, yes he's the most fantastic of all he, he will do the best tricks you've ever seen he can make the butterflies or the fire bolts or whatever you need whatever the kids want he just have, likes to see you smile i've been blessed to have played with eric uh a few i think i think i mean multiple sessions so yes i was very happy that uh jeremy was bringing him um, also, I realized I should have probably been zooming in on each character as we were doing our little intros. I didn't think of it until our final character, uh, but that's okay. And then last but certainly not least, our GM for the evening, Jim. Jim, what is this system that we are we are playing with today? Wow, I'm, I'm so glad you asked. That was a very nice segue and super organic. <laughs> so <laughs> uh, what we're looking at right now, um, we're actually looking at your screen. Um, so you're you're sharing your screen with everybody, but this is tabula sonum. That's fake Latin that kind of fakely means table play. Very clever, I know. Uh, you know what? So I what was, this is. I was thinking uh, just like an hour ago, I was like, you know what? I wonder what tabula sonum, like where they got that name. Yeah, yeah. Sono is a is a complicated one um, in Latin, but tabula generally means table or slate or something that's flat that you put things on. Um, so the idea here is this is a 3D uh, virtual tabletop. This one is in browser. So you're actually looking at a Chrome window right now that we have open. And everybody joined in by just getting a link and joining straight in. So there's no downloads or installs or anything like that. Um, and the idea is just to get in quickly and get playing. So. That's a spinning turtle, if you were <laughs> Sorry wondering. Sorry about that. Sorry for the distractions. It's fun. <laughs> uh, and that is uh, probably the number one used feature in the game would be rotating incessantly. <laughs> so enjoy. That will happen throughout, I'm sure. Uh, so Tabula Sono is it's free. It's in the browser. You just go to tabulasono.com. Try it out. You can make uh, games 
Um, you don't need a subscription or anything like that just to get going. We do have a subscription that has some more premium features and things like that, but for the most part, just uh, hop in and start playing and see what you like. You can also import your own fabulous miniatures. So these uh, these miniatures right here are part of the free library, but I think there's uh, like 800 of them right now, but you can also just import your own. So if you've made your own uh, in an online miniature token maker, or if you have a 3D printer library of files that you just never printed, um, which is my case, then just throw them in. That's cool. Fabulous, how now? Yeah. You guys, <laughs> you guys want to play? Oh, I'm I'm <laughs> dying. <laughs> All right, so here's the setup. Um, we are going to start off in a very classical setting for a D&D campaign or one shot. It's going to be a tavern. Um, even more so classical because it has a classical piano. So here's the uh, here's the setup. The queen has hired the three of you. You uh, you've had dealings with the queen in the past. She pays pretty well, no big deal. Uh, you've worked together in the past, but she's hired you guys to chase down a thief. This thief has stolen the ancient heirloom of the blah 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 something or other. You weren't really paying attention, but it sounded like it was going to pay really well. So you decided to take on the mission, uh, and you have all come to this tavern uh, because you've gotten word that the uh, bad guy, this thief dude, has been running around in this area. So you thought you'd go uh, go to the tavern and check it out and see if you can see what's up. So uh, why don't we get started? Watch, this is the part of the game where everybody just turns around. And they're like, we don't want to go into the tavern. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> actually, you know what? It looks... Isn't, isn't this a port city? Uh, we should go get on one of those ships. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Look at that. I want to see what's way the hell back that way. Um, yeah, we were talking about this before the game, but the answer is 7,750 more squares. That's what's that way. <laughs> yes, there is there is a lot of squares in here. All right. Uh, yeah, so have we ever been to this tavern? What's this? Yeah, tavern? it's uh this is a this is a tavern in your hometown or where you normally come from or where you rest when you're not on adventuring seshes. So you know uh, you know the barkeep? His name is Bron, B-R-A-N Bron. Um you probably have a nickname for him, that's cool too. So yeah. what's what's the queen saying about heirlooms? Like I've been here like thirty times, I didn't even know they had tomatoes. That's not oh, yeah. that's <laughs> that's not it's not tomato. Eric, you know what we're not chasing after a tomato thief, right? I thought though she said she pays since heirlooms. I, I, I really love tomatoes. Even has a BLT, like it's is very good. Magnific magnificent. Eric, you can't not know what the other word kind of heirlooms is. Like trinkets and like hand-me-downs from like... I don't think she said kind of heirlooms. She said we can get some heirlooms or something. I wasn't really paying attention. She was talking to me when I was trying to fill up all the balloons and everything for her daughter's bar mitzvah. But it's like... Do you, do you, I don't know. Do you usually use a lot of balloons for bar mitzvahs? Yeah, whatever they want. Like, <laughs> they, they give me a list and I bring the stuff and then, uh, you know, is there a, uh, everyone's having a good time. I get paid. Is there a lot of uh, bar, bar mitzvahs? Bar, I can't even say uh, uh, bar mitzvahs in um, Beirut. No, it's I, bar mitzvahs. Ba, I... They're dru druidic. Oh, okay, okay, I didn't. Okay. Um, <laughs> the, hey, Bron, there's um, uh, there's someone just sneaked up on you with a pot. Ah, uh, that was spin. Spin? Yeah. I can spin. Do you want me to <laughs> take care of them? I can. If they're. Yeah, you need us to like go beat them up. Oh no no no! It's fine. Uh, he just goes back into that back room and just chills all the time. Hey, Eric, can you make a perception check for me? All right. I will do that. Oh, that's the wrong one. That is a six. Grand total of six. six. All right. Well, while you were standing in this doorway here, by the way, everyone, if you double click anywhere on the floor, it'll ping. So you can say right here. Oh. And it means oh, a lot more than yes. otherwise. Yeah. Like, I want to shoot that guy. Oh, okay, cool. Anyways, uh, so yeah, you can see uh, you can see into one of those back rooms back there. Let me just uh, show some stuff here. There we go. So at the uh, the room to the northeast, P.S., there's a compass at the bottom right if you need it. 
So the northeast room over there uh, looks oh, like no. a storage room. You saw just a bunch of stuff in there. And it looks like Sven has retreated back there with his frying pan. Hey, guys, Sven went over here and said all the stuff just fell from the ceiling. Super weird. <laughs> we should go check it out. Unless you just want to sit here spinning well, around. No, I, I mean, I was going to ask Bron if he saw... Um, did Hey, did either of you two get the name of the thief we're looking for? Or what he looks like? Or what he <clears> stole? <throat> I just want to know, I'm just as, in it for the tomatoes. As you ask this, Gigi is in a very deep conversation with this barmaid quadruple fisting mugs of beer. So. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. Um. Uh, um. Oh. Uh. Get what? Uh, I'm sorry. Um. I was, I was just asking if like we okay. know who we're looking for exactly, like what this thief looks like. Uh, like it could be someone like. I have. Is it Bron? I have. I have literally no idea. I think I know. Can I roll a <laughs> uh, like a history or some kind of check to re draw, try to jog my memory of what the queen said? Yeah, uh, roll this... a. Um, was I even close to paying attention? Check. <laughs> let's, let's just do a. Um... So fifty fifty. <laughs> right. <laughs> let's do an intelligence check. I wrote a seven. <laughs> uh, there's like, it's kind of. It's kind of fuzzy. I really, Eric kept talking about tomatoes, and it was really distracting me. So I don't. Randy, you see anybody come in here with like like lots of, not tomatoes, but but like, jewels and stuff. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, the uh, that one guy. He said he would borrow my back room for two hundred a night, and uh, he just kept coming in with piles of jewelry. Is that what you mean? Is that what you're asking for? Two two hundred jewels. Hey, uh, get, did you ever did you ever hear that that story? You know about that that you know Tiamat and how they were like cultists and they like jewel. Do you think that this person's a cultist from the cult of the dragon? Mm, I've never been in the cult. I've always wanted. Well, to. I mean, you don't want to be in the cult. They're like they're like not good, you know. But if this person's bringing in piles of treasure, maybe this is like, like one of their hideouts. Yeah, hey, Brown, we go way back, right? 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 Yeah, <laughs> at least two weeks. Yeah. At least two weeks. Um, <laughs> you mind if we check on the the room they've been renting? Just like peek, like dip our toes in real quick. Yeah. Hey, go ahead. Um, hey uh... Brown, did the, did did this did this person with all the jewels? Did they did they look like a like a like a like a cultist? Did they look like they were in a cult? Oh yeah. Did they... yeah. For sure. It could be like cult vibes. I mean, he had like these pointy, droopy ears and like a massive scimitar thing. Um, so definitely not like uh, your average walking around gent. So super mm. sus. That's why, um, you know, if he had said 150 a night, I'd say no, but it's 200. That's a what lot. am I supposed to do? Yeah, I mean, 200 is kind of a lot. So and, I, and what is, I, don't, I don't. Is that 200 sorry. tomatoes or copper units. or silver? Units. 200 units. Unit, units of what? Oh, units of maybe tomatoes. I should have asked, actually, now that I think about it. Hey, when you guys go back there, would you ask him 200 what? And then just let yeah, me Yeah, I mean, go. well, so, I mean, no, I mean, wait. Um, I I think you guys are going to have to go. I'm My shell's too big. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I can go back there and ask him, but why are we here, Brom? I'm, I'm that's a little embarrassing because I thought we were getting some tomatoes out of this. So like, do you have any tomatoes? Because I'm super hungry. I've been like waiting for this all day. Um, I may have one or two tomatoes. Oh man, could you make us some like banging BLTs? Like we'll we'll go back, we'll ask this dude what kind of units, and then can we get some like BLTs when we come back and tell you what the answer is? Yeah, be, sure. Hang on cool? just a sec. He turns towards the uh, back room that Sven's in. And he says, Sven, three blah, 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 chits with a trench rinse and a search rinse and a side of blah, blah, blah. And then Sven says, okay. Get, is that what we ordered? I don't know, but this sounded kind of like it's, what I sound like. Sounds, <laughs> sounds kind of fancy, really. I just I just eat lettuce and tomatoes, so that's all I need. So I can have your bacon? That's what I'm hearing. Oh, uh, we can, can we split that? 
Yeah, you. Yeah, can... We can split the bacon, and okay. Miss, Mister couldn't choose I'm, a major over I'm, here. I'm starving. I know I'm a little tall, but I, I promise I'm I'm still a growing girl. Okay, <laughs> uh, I can't get over Cage's pose. <laughs> They're just locked in, like ready to crane kick somebody <laughs> at a moment's notice. <laughs> All right. Um, Effortlessly, Chuck Norris is okay, what I call this pose. All right. That's, so, so the so, two of us go back there, and you're stuck here with your shell. Yes, I'll stay back here. Okay. Yeah. You can wait in the car. <laughs> I'll watch your guys. You can be back our getaway here. driver. All right. So you guys see uh, Spin is over here in this other room, like yeah, busily so gonna, being busy. I'm gonna check in on on Sven real quick. Hey, right. hey, Sven. What? I'm um, one of those BLTs. Can you put a little extra bacon on it? BLT. That's he asked for a sushi salad. What? Well, I mean, there's also tomatoes in it. I guess that's fine. He specifically said no tomatoes. No. But, see, one uh, of us said no bacon. Oh. Okay. You you guys just tell me what you want, and I'll just make that. Can we can we get some BLTs? Yeah, yeah. Extra bacon. Extra bacon. Okay. We'll even give you one unit. Hey, how much is that, <gasps> by the way? Oh. One unit? I don't know. Well, how much are you being paid to work back here? Oh, maybe I should be getting paid. Hang on, let me go. Let me go talk to Brian. You guys Excuse get me. paid? Excuse me. Wait, hold on. I got. I got another. Hold on. Can, if I could just. Oh. If I could just have a moment of your time. Sure. Ben, this. So there's this. This. This guy, in the in the room, and she kind of like nods to the room next door. What What do you know about him? Oh, big burly guy. Uh, he has this like loincloth thing, really cool belt, scimitar. I think he might have braided hair. So, mm, yeah. Okay. I mean, I, I, um, I like that kind of thing. Like, uh, I'm trying to think of something edgy. Like, hey, do you guys think he... I should like do the thing where I shave the side of my head, but not the full thing? Do you think I could pull that off? He takes his uh, chef no, hat I off. No, I don't. I, like, I think that like looks both like both sides or just haircut. like one side? Or what's your deal here? <laughs> just, just like the, just the left side. I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah. I think that would. I think that would look great. I think okay. it would. It would really show people you mean business. But I do mean business. Yeah, but this that, that kind of haircut would like, they would know that before they even like met you. Whoa. You know, they just like see you and they'd be like, "Man, that's Sven. They mean business." I mean, okay. you can't mean too much business if you don't even get paid. Just saying. What? Well, yeah, <laughs> but they don't okay. have to know that. Well, that's a good point. See, this is that's why what I the haircut is for, right? People smarter than me. This is why I just walk around and blow up balloons. It's all about confidence, right? Um, so here's what I'm going to do. Okay. I, I have a list of next steps. He pulls out a notepad. He's like, uh, all right. So once we adjourn this meeting, I'm going to go make three BLTs with uh, extra bacon. And then yeah. I'm going to get a raise from zero uh -huh. to, you know, whatever is 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 reasonable. So. I guess infinity. Um, and then, um, yeah, I think that's it. Oh no, shave my head. I'll shave my head after that. Yeah. I, I, can I just ask one more, one more quick question here? Let's yeah, yeah, quick yeah. Cue. So this, this uh, burly, this burly guy next door. Would you, would you say he's got like, like, culty vibes? Mm. Like if you were to, if you were to like vibe check him, like, would you say like, like, does cult, because like, does the word cult come to mind? Well, I would totally, um, and then he turns to Eric and he's like, excuse me, what's a cult? Oh, it's, it's like this crazy island across the sea. There's like dinosaurs and zombies and oh, stuff. Oh. oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, wait, no. my, my hearing doesn't have accents. <laughs> <laughs> what Eric, language do you hear this, in? <laughs> this it's like a cool religion cult. with parties, I think. Oh, oh, yeah. Um, Definitely parties, maybe not religions. Okay. Oh, a, it might um, not be a cult, I don't know. Have you heard the name Tiamat lately? Oh, yeah, for sure. Oh. And he turns over to Eric. He's like, what's a Tiamat? Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, so Tiamat. Well, not. Oh, did you just hear us talking about this in the other room? Because that's not yeah. what we mean. We mean, like, have you, like, are you in, like, a cult for Tiamat? Is oh. What we're trying to ask. No, I don't know what that is. Oh, okay. And by the way, I just want to point it out. Only two of those BLTs had extra bacon. One of them actually has no bacon at all. I just... Yeah, but... Uh, oh. oh, wait. Um, Actually, no, all three... Uh, Eric, 
because we can we can split the extra. Well, yeah, I assume she put the extra bacon on ours from the Yeah, other but then one. we get extra, extra. Yeah, but I think he's like a vegetarian, so it might gross him out. You know, it's just like pulled off, you know? That's like, I don't know. Can you just, so three BLTs uh, with extra bacon, but on the one with the extra bacon, can you just put those extras on the other two with the extra oh. bacon? Wait, so you think huh. he knows that there's eggs and mayonnaise? Or maybe he's just vegetarian. Never mind. Hmm. That's a good so, question. So don't worry, so, just make the sandwiches. So how much how much mayonnaise then? Like enough? Oh, okay. Yeah, I can do that. <laughs> do you ever wonder how Git can hear us even though he doesn't have ears? <laughs> <laughs> are you are you guys coming? What's See, going on back there? You oh, need uh, help? We should, I we can should take my probably... shell off and come back there. Oh, oh no, 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 it's it's okay. We're just take your um, shell off. We're just it's investigating. It's a whole process, but I can. <laughs> we're just we're just doing some investigation. Here, maybe if I um, come back. <laughs> nope, nope. No, I'm stuck. Can you... just G turn G -G, sideways? Can you push me again. Remember we talked about turning sideways. That's how you got in the front door. Just turn sideways, and then turn sideways again once you're in here. I swear that front door was wider. It's the same mm. door. It's the same door. The front door has two doors. It does. Oh. Yep. How oh. about I'm, how okay. about this, Mister Get? You get watch this home brew. Four times per long rest, you can cast. Help me through this door, please. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to cast that once real quick. <laughs> yes. Ah. Oh. Okay. I got lonely over there. I think you're stuck in the hallway now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm gonna have to use another cast. Claustrophobic. Uh, oh, you guys haven't even looked in this room yet? I'm gonna, here, we're, I'll, we, we were investigating. I'm, I'm gonna peek my head in. Okay, here. um, Fen, if, if we could, Sven, if we could just, oh, Eric, actually, you're. See, I know hey, I'm Eric? in the way so that Sven can't even see what done talking to him. Plus I, my elbows are kind of stuck in this pose. I think we're done. I think we're. Hey, hey, son, what's in this little, this little chest here? Oh, uh, <laughs> it's treasure. Is he winks at you a lot. Oh? Is that tomatoes? <laughs> uh, I mean, maybe. Wait, so you got some can heirlooms I, in there? Can I open this um, and look it up? Look in here? Can I just, yeah. can I take a look? Go ahead. See? Wait, what's go in ahead. here? Yeah, go ahead. It's definitely not a chest mimic, if that's what you're wondering. <laughs> oh. That's, that's um, a relief. Yeah, I mean, if it's not, then yeah, I'm going to open it up. <laughs> All right. You open up the chest. Uh, make a did it bite you check. No, I'm just oh. kidding. Yeah. I was like, I, no. I was about ready to roll. <laughs> At the very bottom of the chest is a very small folded up piece of paper. Oh. I'll, can I read it? I don't like that pose that's fins in right behind you, GG. <laughs> <laughs> I just love like the photos always with the van on oh. That's okay, I can just kick backwards. It's fine. It's true, you're you're definitely ready. <laughs> you're like a donkey. I'll I'll just do a quick 180, you know, roundhouse kick. It's cool. But yeah, what does the paper say? So you open up the paper. Uh by the way, it has a little heart on the front. Oh, that's cute. Um uh, yep, and then on, it makes on the makes me more back, curious. There's a there's like a little like lip. You know, imprint mm -hmm. like somebody kissed it. And mm -hmm. it smells faintly of lavender. Oh. So you unfold it. And then there's a... There Gigi are, thinks are, it's for her, even though it's <laughs> obviously not. There's just a few words on the inside. And it says, Sven, comma, enter, enter. You're going to do great at your new job. Love, Mommy Bear. Oh, my <gasps> God. We need to say... We need to protect... We need to get Sven oh. a big raise. I, I think after reading it, Gigi's going to try to slyly put it back into the the chest like she never saw it and like a, 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 try to be stealth about it. Obviously, Sven, Sven has probably just been watching her do this, but she's going to play it <laughs> off like she never looked. He's going to oh, look um, over at you and try and yeah, make we eye should, contact. Um, we should probably <clears throat> we should probably get going, Eric. Um, you know, Beth gets in the next room and yeah, I think I, I we found should the guy. we should let Sven get back to these BLTs, you know? 
Oh, so you want me to move? Okay, you can just say. Sometimes I'm super candid, so if you can just like say things, I'll just move. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, thanks. Sorry, yeah. I hey, have to be uh, super clear considering how my voice is. People... Hey, get. How's it going? Uh, I found. I think I found him. I think I oh. found him. What What does he look like? Uh, he's He's pretty big. He's got okay. uh, braided hair. Would you Would you say he's burly? He is burly with a scimitar. Smitar. Okay. Smitar. I I've never yep. figured out how to say that word. Do you know how to say so it? So far, I, I, I think, think it's scimitar. Just... No, I think you had it right. What'd you say? Sky Mater? Sky Mater is another one I've heard. Um, I've heard Eric call it a Sky Mater before. I think he just really likes tomatoes and tomatoes mm -hmm. and maters. Um, is is he wearing a loincloth? He is, and he's staring at the wall, um, which is pretty culty. Do you see he's like some jewels and stuff? Really close to his scimitar <laughs> pokes through the wall. His scimitar, he's breaking. He's breaking this bar. What's he too looking at? I can't see between you. I'm too small. Um, um, here, let's just um, act like we're okay. Um, oh, this is the here's the bathroom right here, Gigi. I'm gonna walk, oh, okay. I'm gonna walk in. Okay, great. Wink. Oh, uh, she well, says wink out loud. Don't say wink. <laughs> <laughs> um, at the oh. mention, at the mention of the word wink, he turns towards you. Uh, he looks at you. Do you guys make eye contact? The, tw the oh, turtle is this the not yes, the, we are. the little orcs room? No. Or turtle room. It's, Bathroom? It's a, uh, yeah. It could be. I don't know. There's like this crystal pool in the corner. I don't know what you're, uh, what like, you're used to in terms of your facilities, but yeah, it's, hey, you, get, it's you, do you mind? Do you mind just okay? Yep. Okay. Cool. Sorry. Um. Um. Just hey, how's it going? Hey. My name's uh, Git. How are you? He runs hey, over. Uh, what you? Where are you going? Jumps into the pool. Oh gosh, he just went into the toilet. Oh. He didn't <laughs> go into the toilet. <laughs> no. uh, yeah, uh, looking around the room, like what have we seen? Uh, it's a pretty empty room. There's um, some scratches on the wall back in the corner, like behind this crystal pool thingy. Uh -huh. And right now, the crystal that's at the top, connected by those two pillar thingies, is currently uh -huh. glowing, bluish. The water, if you look at the water, seems to go down forever, even though you can clearly see oh. the bottom of the pool underneath it. Oh. Hey, um... You think if we went through here that our BLTs would be cold by the time we made it back? Or would they be done by the time we made it back? Oh, yeah, that's, that's probably a good question, honestly. I don't even know if he thought it on him. I don't even know. I mean, maybe he's gonna like can butcher we, the pig still. Can we, can we, can we, team meeting, team meeting, okay, team meeting. Huddle up. Um, huddle up. up. Um, why are we back here again? <laughs> We're, the queen sent us. We got to find the uh, the heirloom tomato thief, uh, who we okay. just described uh, to be this fellow that just jumped into the toilet, and now we need to go get him. No, I think you're super confused. She said she would reward us with heirlooms if oh, we catch the thief, but I, now that he's giving me BLTs, I'm, I mean, I don't even really cares about the heirlooms to be honest. Well, he may not be using heirloom tomatoes. Maybe he's just using like. Uh, you know, Regular tomatoes? Regular tomatoes. <laughs> that would be a travesty. Also, what if they're Roma tomatoes? I'm paying two units, whatever that is. Oh, yeah. We need to figure out how much a unit is. We should probably go after this guy. So oh, we, can... we do need to go after this guy we and find out a... what a unit is. Into the do, I, do I just, do I just dip step into, into the turlet? Dip into your toes first into the turlet and see how it okay. goes. Okay. Is tingly. <laughs> real tingly. <laughs> Adam, can we please get a can we please get a close up? It's <laughs> literally dipping your toes into uh, that is perfect. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well it's it's a little tingly, um, but I guess um Well I like tingly. Oh, is this kind of tingly? Well don't hog it. Yeah, get get in here. This is super tingly. Alright, I'm gonna well watch out, scooch over. <laughs> Plenty of room for the three of us. I think we're all jumping in. Does it feel good? Right. Oh, yeah. It's, it's tingly, but it's in a good kind of tingly. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, so as you, uh, as you jump in, the world around you pretty much disappears. Uh, except for that one barrel, apparently. 
<laughs> I don't see the barrel. Uh, and then the uh, <clears throat> everything just kind of turns into this. Like at this point, I want you to imagine in your mind brains um, the most stereotypical like we're going into warp drive or we're going through a wormhole or we've just stepped through a mystical portal. And then there's just like this too long sequence where you're just going through this, where they're like showing off their special effects budget. Mm -hmm. And then the music swells or whatever. And then uh, you find yourself in the middle of, well, you're not quite sure. So they've gone plaid. Just, uh, see what happens. Oh, they've gone plaid. Ludicrous speed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, oh, uh, um, do you feel like everything's went tingly suddenly? Yes. Oh, and, yeah. Um, where's uh, where's Bert? Burn? Bert? 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 Bron? 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 That was Bron? it. I knew it was. Oh. If I said enough words starting with B, I'd get it eventually. Um, Bron? Is that you? Definitely disappeared. Uh, so the guy that's uh, standing there behind that table thingy, he looks at all of you and he says, "Excuse me." The office is closed for the weekend. Ugh. Um, well, uh, excuse me. If it's hey, closed, excuse... then how do we get in? And yeah. You... Can you, can you uh, answer that? I just, guys, you? seriously, I don't I don't have time for this. And he walks through the wall and disappears. Oh, uh, did... I... Gigi what? tries to walk through the wall and follow him. <laughs> uh, make a how much did it hurt my face check. <laughs> Is that just a is that just a d20? Yeah, just a d20. <laughs> um, I don't guys, have any dice prepared for this. Guys, I don't think <laughs> you didn't think you'd have to roll tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Who rolls dice in tabletop games? Right. <laughs> Thanks for the plug, by the way. The um, Monday's release adds uh, dice rollers and a couple other plugins. Oh, ooh. Um, for now, I'm going to use my sweet new Venture Maiden dice. Nice. Um, like... That's an 11 on the die. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't uh, doesn't cause any permanent damage, um, but... I mean, I wouldn't be so you... sure about that. <laughs> you might be a little embarrassed. Um, I can't... They, they just, like, went through the wall and, like... It... The walls the walls are solid here. Like, like a normal wall would be, you know? What was he, what was he wearing? It's weird. Hey, right? You guys want to look at him again? Here, we'll just have a quick memory dream sequence, just so that you can see this really hilarious model it, one more time. It seems, see, if he reminds anyone else of like a super tall like cricket or something. He he kind of reminds me of um. <laughs> yes. I don't know. He's got a. Did you see that puppet show about the board game? Monopoly. Yes. Uh, yeah. Looks like the Monopoly guy. I feel like he's going to tell me my conscience is my guide. <laughs> the the name of the model I didn't notice this in ten hour is Chunky Human Salesman. <laughs> <laughs> Got it in one. Uh, oh, is that he, mine? It's Colonel Sanders. Right. Oh yes. Um. Okay. Uh. Well, that was weird. Uh. Where are we? I don't think this is like. Guys, come here. Come here. Come over here, real quick. Over here. Yeah. What oh. is this? Oh. What is these um, crazy magic torches in the ceiling? They're like super bright. I know it's kind of hurting my eyes. Uh, what's this what stuff? Is... Oh, you know what? What's this? Ooh. Ooh. It's like oh. perfectly sized for you. We don't wow. have chairs like this back in Beirut. <clears throat> yeah, a little retro, huh? Uh, don't get that close to that, Eric. Might oh be bad man. For your eyes. Well, sorry, should have told you guys trying... beforehand. One of you should have named yourself Alexa. <laughs> <laughs> that would have made this <laughs> a lot more exciting. <laughs> uh, do you think this is like a portal to other dimensions? Yeah, 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 yeah. It yeah, looks like it. it. Maybe he went in this thing. I mean, so right, you touch what's it. What's a Roku? <laughs> yeah. yeah you, oh, you can read English. <laughs> you, uh, I'm just you touch the, the uh, <laughs> You touch this little uh, strange portal on the wall, and as you do, something goes... Boom, boom, boom. And then there's this shimmering circle that comes from the inside of the, of the uh, shiny wall plate and goes out. And then images just start flashing before you. And they're all moving. It's almost like it's a window into a completely different world. 
Whoa, this is some crazy sorcery. I've been studying magics my whole life. And this is like, I mean, this takes some super magics to make something like this mm. last. This is like, I mean, unless there's someone hiding here, maybe that weird dude that walked through walls or whatever. But I think this is some sort of magical artifact. And that takes lots of magical practice. Gigi, you should try to kick your foot through it, see if your foot goes into the portal. Oh, okay. Wait, be um, careful. If you kick it too hard, I'm just saying if it was made by a lich or something, that foot ain't coming back, sister. But if it was made by a lich, maybe it's like their soul jar and I'll we'll break it. destroy them. Ah, that's just a good point. Yeah, she's going to roundhouse kick the fuck out of that TV. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> What's uh? Do you have an improvised weapon attack ready? Uh, I'm a the, monk, so I'm oh, always yeah. an improvised weapon. <laughs> yeah, so I'm pretty sure you're gonna connect with it. So just go ahead and roll damage. Let's see what happens. Oh yeah, that was a twenty-five to hit, just for clarity. Yeah. You good? You good? Um, Jesus. Eight, eight uh, roundhouse kick damage. That's why we can't have nice things. <laughs> eight points of roundhouse damage. Uh, so it does connect with it, uh, and then you kick it, and the screen, um, <laughs> you guys don't know that word, but the screen just, like, shatters into a billion pieces. Um, did and I you do take... it? Did I, did I break the soul jar? Um, oh, that's not there anymore. I think that was, like, actually some window or something. Um, um, I don't know what that was. I don't know what that was. How'd you do that? Like, you just kicked a portal, and it shattered. It was very loud. There's pieces all over the ground. That looks like glass. The ground is crunchy. Yeah, it looks like glass. <laughs> What's you mean? Like bottles think, and stuff? I think yeah. I'm gonna I think I'm gonna move away from that. Yeah, might. It feels a little too much like difficult terrain. Eric, what's that? Eric, what's that? That water. I was all wait. Look at oh, it. is this thing? Yeah. It looks like oh. water's in there. Maybe this thing is a soul jar. Maybe it like, is. You should, it you should stab, it. stab it. Stab uh, it. As, as, uh, as you as you prod it with your finger, uh, a bubble comes up from the bottom and goes. Oh, boop, whoop. No, never mind. Don't touch oh, it. Don't wait, touch it, Eric. Okay, stay back. <laughs> yeah, I, <found> this <laughs> I, I don't have anything to stab it, but so I can hit uh, it. I could. I can hit, I can it, hit it with, it with a dart. Oh, a dart. It. Yeah, do that. I'm gonna stand back here by this. Okay. Why does this wall look like this? This is a weird place. I'm gonna, Come over I'm here, gonna... Eric. Yeah. All right, so I'm yeah, gonna, I'm gonna hide behind some wood. Hit it from over here. Okay, everybody, good. Yeah, we're good. Throw a dart at it. Okay. It's a thirteen to hit it. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. Yeah. So the dart goes, thunk, and it just and sticks in the side. An eight damage to it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a big dart. Holy shit! That is a good dart. It's a yard dart. I'm so gonna... now it's I get it's plus sticking five in the side. to my hit. Damage. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, Kit's gonna creep up to it, then pull the dart out. Yeah. Careful, careful, Kit. I got it. I got it. As I just pull the dart out, there's a hole in the side, and now it's just a steady stream of water going on oh, to no. the. Oh no. What we know you, is brand new was, carpet. Was that an alchemy jug? Did you just? Oh, I, I just I, wasted I, the whole day's worth of alchemy jug. I, I think you did. Oh, fuck, that means there's no mayonnaise for our BLTs. Oh, that's probably where Sven was going to get the mayonnaise from. Uh, this oh, this is probably the seller uh, of the... Oh, my goodness. Oh, so is this... Oh, my God. Wait, that so that means Sven is like a lich? No, I think this is just regular regular Faerun stuff in the basement, right? So, right? do you think there's some tomatoes down here, then? Yeah, let's find the tomatoes. It's probably where they keep all, like, the walk-in freezer and stuff. And some mayonnaise. And, oh, we can make our own BLTs, honestly. Yeah, we don't. I don't know why he said it was going to take a long time. BLTs don't take a long time. All right, it's surely behind this door, right? Honestly, now I'm really interested in making us BLTs, and I, we'll we'll find we'll find the big uh, the tomato thief eventually. So you are going to have the bacon because that is like the first letter. I'll just have a LT. <laughs> oh. Right. Um, Gigi, you want to do the honors? I'm going to kick the shit out of the kick store. It, kick it. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> did, not expect... did somebody make a sound effect or what was that? I heard Oh, it. that was me. I okay. <laughs> I was like, what was that? It, it's a, it's a, 
It's a small room with a lot more doors in it. Do you want me to? Should I um, kick these yeah, too? Yeah, I guess just start kicking them one up, one by one. Okay. This one first. Gonna, yeah. Kick it. Oh. Ooh, oh, there's some sort what of is that? like a seat with water in it. Okay, what? I'm gonna. You you like, Why is he like always a... kicking everything? That's... <laughs> well, do you want to touch it? I mean, I can shoot some firebolts at it. I might burn the whole I mean, place down. Okay, be my guest. Go I don't want to burn it down. I'm just wondering. Oh, here, I have a better See, idea. See, that's why I kick things. It won't burn anything down. I know, but it's like you're going to lose a foot one day. I haven't yet. <laughs> she kicks it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's, it's just like this other one. Is it? This place, maybe this is all the portals to like the water plane. Yeah, Eric, go. go. Should I, should I kick this one yeah, too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, why stop now? Wait a minute. Think about it. We jumped into that other water thing. That's what I'm thinking. And we came here. That's... These are probably portals to all sorts of different places. Okay, well, hmm. these are pretty small, so maybe maybe we need a third one. Let's see if there's one behind this door. Yes. Is there any, like, oh, there is. drawings there on, is. The, on the wall? Oh, like... oh shit! Oh, God! <laughs> Wait, what is that? Uh, there's something sitting on the um, this chair, the porcelain uh... chair. Uh, and he's like, oh, no, 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 no. Um, Are occupied, you a cultist? Occupied. No, I'm a kobold. Oh, wait. Oh, hang on. You're the bad guys. Uh, roll initiative. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> We're going to fight a dude who is on the turret? <laughs> All right, I got a 16. He, well, so it's to be clear, 20. he can use half his movement speed to pull up his pants. So <laughs> That's a dirty he's 20. Prone. He's prone. Bev. That's a that's the dirtiest twenty you can get. <laughs> it really is. He is very proud. I got a four. I got a sixteen. All right. Jesus. All right. Well, I, I mean, we could like kind of count that as a surprise round because I'd definitely be surprised too. Oh, I would. Yeah. I mean, we did just kick down the other two doors, so I don't know how yeah, surprised so they could possibly be. But... Here. And he could have been taking a nap, you know? Could have been taking a nap. Oh. Uh, well, it rhymes with nap. <laughs> so. <laughs> that took me too long to get that. I also I... like, um, I don't know if y'all said this, but Johnny's Komodo oh, Dragon. <laughs> yeah, that was, yeah, that was a really good pun. Two points for that pun. Yeah. <laughs> points All right, well, Gigi, it's your turn. Oh, um, it's my turn. Yeah, would you like to kick something? Uh, I mean, I don't know if she's like wanting to kick this guy until like she knows more about him. So I think she's going to use her turn to be like, "Wait, we're not we're not the bad guys. There's like cultists here. We're we're looking for like a cultist who's like stealing heirloom tomatoes or something. Is that you? I think he's a kobold." <laughs> Kobolds can be cultists too, I think. All right, get you're up. Shoot. Um, I'm in the same boat. We just kind of walked in on this dude using the turret. I'm a little hesitant to just go in guns a blazing until, of course, he attacks, and then. Uh, hmm. So you know what I think I'll do? I think I'll. I think I want to hold my action, and if he does, if he attacks any of us then i would like to just um man the the problem of multi-classing into five different uh classes is that you get an absurd amount of spells that you have to look through <laughs> and read um i think what i would do is if he attacks any of us i would like to cast uh acid splash okay a Eric. All right, Sissel Butty. Um, we're not the bad guys. We just we just came down here because we were looking for all the tomatoes and the mayonnaise and stuff. Um, I I have the stick and I can hit you with it, or or you can uh, just calm down for a second and uh, we can close the, the door and let you finish your business, and then we can talk out here like adults. Oh, it's turlets. Mm. But they're fancy turlets. 
Yeah, because normally you just have like a wooden board. It's with a usually hole in just it, right? yeah. <laughs> oh, ooh, those are nice. Why don't you tell us where these other portals go? I can't fit. And then we can. We don't have to. I don't have to hit you with the stick. I can't fit. So while you guys are talking, uh, the other door over there just kind of like peeks <laughs> open, uh, and then you see a little cobalt eye looking through, um, and then. You, uh, you, you hear him say uh, underneath the uh, the stall next to him, like, Johnny, it's them. We gotta attack. <laughs> and then Johnny, um, he is going to use half his movement speed to pull up his breeches, and then go here. He can just slip through you again. That's gonna be difficult. And he's gonna try and leave the room. All three of you can take opportunity attacks if you would like. I would like to try to just can I instead of like hitting him try to trip him yeah oh yeah cause yep so do a, a do a, a strength of... check then oh god <laughs> oh, I rolled are... really poorly but uh... that's still a 15 alright we well, got it so he's uh, tripped up over here I'm... watch this I'm sorry I guess Bonk. that's technically a 12 how'd you do that it's a That's 15 okay. for a strength save. His uh, his counter was a nine, so mm -hmm. you're good. Um, oh, look at poor little buddy. Well, what do we call him? Johnny? Johnny. That one's yeah. Johnny. Yeah, Johnny. Oh, so Johnny's on the ground, uh, and then other guy is going to try and make a run for it. So same <laughs> thing here. You guys can take opportunity oh, attacks. Oh, this motherfucker or... said we've got to attack him, and then he's going to bail on his butt. Now, now this one I'll fuck. <laughs> I'll, I'll hit this one. I've got a club. I used my reaction already to do that one opportunity yeah. attack, so yeah. I only get one per round. I'll, uh, I'm just gonna bonk him with my club. Club bonk? Yeah. I'm mad at this one. I've got a plus zero to hit with clubs. I don't know why I've got a club. <laughs> I can roll a 16. Okay. And one That'll damage. Hit. All right. That'll damage. <laughs> All right. Eric, did you want to do anything? Yeah, I mean,. If he hit him, if he's still trying to get away, I'm like, hey, where do you think you're going? And I'm going to shoot him with a firebolt. <laughs> oh, I just realized. Can he opt to attack with other shit than just, like, physical attacks? Like uh, it has to be melee. Oh. Yeah, oh, you're okay. right. Well, Good call. Well, it, I'm sorry, <laughs> Jeremy. I <laughs> well, yeah, was going to let you, was... and then I... <laughs> I That's was like just... the bell. The bell is about to ring, and then uh, Adam comes in and is like, "Teacher, didn't we have homework to no, turn I in?" Didn't mean, I didn't mean to. <laughs> I was just like shitting on myself. Like, oh man, I could have done something cool, and I didn't. Uh... Haha, uh, you can't cast spells at me. <laughs> <laughs> I I hate this one. I like Johnny. I don't like this one. All right, well, we're back around to uh, Gigi's turn now. Um, that one's getting away, Gigi. Yeah, I'm going to... Yeah, ex ex excuse me, guys. Yep. Excuse me. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Pardon me. I'm just going <clears> to... <throat> Kick his head off. <laughs> <laughs> excuse me. Um, I'm going to try and trip him, too. Noise. <laughs> She's just gonna trip everybody. <laughs> Sweep the leg. What? That's only an eight because I rolled three on my die for a strength check. Ooh. It's yep. eleven if I can make that an athletics check. You know what? You can make it an athletics check. <laughs> I don't know if it'll matter. I think it. Oh yeah. It, it would. He got. He got a ten. So. <laughs> You guys are going kobold bowling today? Yeah, I guess. Kobold? Cobold? Nope, I'm not going to do There's it. There's something. There's something there. There we is. We just need yeah. somebody to piece it together for us. Yeah, if anybody in chat wants to work on <laughs> kobold bowling, feel free. Um, <laughs> and meanwhile, uh, so yep, you can uh, you can knock him over. When you go out into the hallway, you see down the hallway three more oh, shit, little koboldians. Oh, shit. It's and the then cultist. you see the, uh, the bad guy. It's the cultist. I like how we just assume this dude's in a cult. <laughs> we have made a lot of assumptions. That is by no means the most wild assumption that we've made so far this game. Very true. Uh, I believe I was next. 
Yep. Um, fuck. Now I've got the cultist this. just saw me trip his friend. <laughs> um, the, like At the least big, he didn't the see me punch guy? the shit out of him. <laughs> the big guy? Hold on. Oh, <clears throat> the burly guy with the loincloth. Let, let me just, hold on. Give me a sec. Yep. Is that difficult terrain? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, doors doors are always difficult terrain. Forget it. it probably is for me, but that's okay. I only had to move <laughs> ten feet, so I should be good still. Also, look at this this ground texture. I don't know why, but I'm just obsessed with it. <laughs> it's not just flat. Okay. Um, distraction aside, uh, now that I see the big boy that we need to. Um, was it capture, kill, dead or alive? How how were we supposed to bring this fool in? Didn't matter. Well, maybe maybe he really just to get needed the tomatoes a good... back. Yeah. Okay. Grab yeah. the tomatoes. Give him a good talking to. Maybe a slap on the wrist. Well, no, no, because he's not going to just hand over some good, beautifully good heirloom tomatoes. Um, maybe he's made of tomatoes. That's why he's red. <laughs> I, never, I think this know is what, the best theory so far. You know what, Gigi? I never thought of that. Why else would he be red? Also, why are you purple? Are you made out of blueberries? Um, they'd that be called purple be berries if they were purple. See, I get. Come you on. know what? Use your adult brain. Wait, what in nature is purple? Eggplants? Flowers. Egg grapes. Plants. Grapes, flowers, everybody. Yeah. Grapes. grapes. Okay. okay. Well, but... Aren't those kind of reddish, though? It depends on the grape. I guess you're right. Oh, God. <laughs> Look how you said that in we, character. We have lost the plot. <laughs> um, what the this plot? is the plot. You do not invite the three of us to play a game without this being the plot. <laughs> All right, you know what spell I'm going to cast? I prepared this one specifically for tonight. I got to prepare like 30 spells, so I'll, I had to really narrow down my choices and then still made the cut. I'm going to cast Jim's Magic Missiles. And what? This is a legit official spell. Uh, I don't know what book it's from, but I turned off homebrew. So this is a legit spell. Jim's nice. Magic Missiles. Do you um, have the Rick and Morty? Is it from Rick and Morty? Is that what I it don't is? know. It might be from Rick and Morty. I don't know. Um, I, I have a lot of shit unlocked on D&D Beyond, so I don't know where it's from. But how's this different from... So it's different because I have to actually roll. They don't insta hit. It belongs to Jim. And, and, yeah. and Jim wrote <laughs> wrote his name in the margins of my spell book. Um, so Apprentice Wizard can cast any Apprentice Wizard can cast a boring old magic missile. Sure, it always strikes his target. Yawn. Do away with the drudgery of your grandfather's magic missile with this new and improved spell used by Jim Dark Magic. Is that your pseudonime, uh, Jim? Uh, if I told you, told you I'd have to kill you. So just keep going. You create three twisting, whistling, hypoallergenic, gluten-free. This might be from the uh, freaking Morty. Shit. It's from Ack Inc. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, that makes sense. Each dart yeah. targets a creature of your choice, uh, but I do have to actually roll. Plus, to f uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give, um, uh, I'm gonna give one to each of the small still standing cold bolts. I think that's a good way to go. Um, so let me just... Why did I prepare magic missile too? <laughs> I've got Jim's magic missile. Uh, just in case. If it, if this fails horribly, you can just use that one next I got time. A 11. Did that hit? <clears throat> 11 hits the little dudes. Yep. Okay, so for the damage for that one was a 6. 6. And then yep. a another 11. And a 4. Okay. And then a six. I'm guessing a six and, and no universe hits anything. No. Okay. So I shoot these three uh, hyperallergenic uh, magic missiles at these three kobolds. Uh, one of them one of them whips it pretty big. Uh, yeah, there's more of that where that came from. Get them, GG. Kick them. Go kick them. <laughs> I'm going to go. You said they were... You said they were gluten free, right? They are gluten free, yes. Okay, cool. Yeah. So if any, I just want to make have, sure. Yeah, celiacs. That would that would <laughs> definitely not add any bonus damage. Yeah. And then Eric, I'm gonna hide behind Gigi, and that's it. You're just you're sticking out like on all sides. Yeah, I know. <laughs> they, they can hit me on the left, right. Maybe uh, the squishy parts are hidden, and then and you then know what? I, uh, that's a good. You know what? That's a good point. Um, that's just uh, boop. 
There give, you go. Give him my shell. <laughs> Maybe that's why my armor class is 19. Because you just <laughs> turn fun. around at the end of your yeah. turn, sit down and turn around. Every, every turn. <laughs> Eric? All right, Eric is going to come walking out. He's going to turn to them. I don't know about you, but like I said before, I haven't, I didn't eat anything today because I thought we were going to get these delicious heirlooms. So I'm going to try to make this quick, and I will cast Fireball on the red guy. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Just fucking... There goes the office building. <laughs> so, oh, my God. Uh, okay, so according to D and D Beyond, that's a thirty-three. I mean, I think you still need to roll something, right? Dex saves. Yeah, yeah dex save. What's the sprinkler situation in 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 this office room? <laughs> You're about to find. I out. hope I hope it's good <laughs> for for my benefit. So what is it? Twelve plus my intelligence plus my something. Yeah. Are you? Do you have your character made on D and D Beyond? If so, yeah. it should just say. If you like, click on a spell that has a deck save. It should say, um, in like the kind of above the spell description, it should say a attack slash save. Oh. Okay. Uh. Where would it say that? It does not say that. Oh, yeah, it does. Dex fourteen. Okay. The big dude and the middle dude both saved. But the guys Damn. on the outside definitely did not. Okay, so half as much damage for the other ones. So 33 was what I got. 33? All right. Yeah. Seems like a lot. Well, guess what, 16. outside guys? Y'all gonna die. Mm -hmm. my, my magic missile loosened them up like a pickle jar. <laughs> Do I have nipples? There we go. <laughs> Those nipples. I don't think Toros have nipples. I don't think that's supposed to be nipples. <clears throat> all right, so all three of the. Uh, I don't. I don't think those are supposed to be nipples. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't think that Toros are milk they're producing. Not to be nipples. This yeah. one is. That's a special uh, portal special that includes edition. at least one memory gland. <laughs> um, so the uh, the three little guys. They definitely did. So let's call that first kill. And Eric, why don't you tell us in excruciating detail what just occurred? All right. So I ran out. I looked. I said, I'm hungry and I'm in a hurry. So I shot a fireball. I lifted up my staff. and it, or I'm sorry, a fireball. And it looked like maybe I was about to cast a fireball until it grew to about the size of half my body, which I realize isn't that big, but it's still bigger than a basketball. And this big flaming spear went soaring across the room. I was targeting the big guy, and I think it hit that middle kobold right in the face. Uh, it then exploded completely, just, I would imagine, incinerating the three of them and just lightly burning the large the large thing, whatever it may be. Oh, yeah. What uh, what do we think this guy is? Is he a, uh, is he like a half-orc or bug bug? He looks a little too. As a uh, half orc, would I be able to determine if they're another half orc? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> and uh, so the is good news is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. Oh, it's not, <laughs> not another <laughs> half orc. He looks a little too uh, sheen to be a bug bear. I'm trying to get. I'm trying to gauge what this guy is. Like he uh, just he just put on baby oil. Yeah, maybe he just got baby shoot. oil on, and maybe he just got like a a full body wax as a bug bear. <laughs> I hope you have insurance because I can do that at least one more time. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, let's uh let's let's put a little carpet fire down here, right? Let's do that. That. Uh... That square right there can be on a little bit of fire. I forgot there's uh I, I'm picturing there it's like the carpet square tiles. You know, oh, the, yeah. like if the, it, the peel and stick things. Yeah, if, <laughs> if like they spill something or if there's a big fireball accident, or they can stick. easily repair it. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's uh that's actually on the packaging. It says uh fireball proof. <laughs> Some super good carpet. That's that's I don't is that what this stuff is called? Carpet? I think so. That's what it said on the label. It, it, Carpet. It feels weird on my feet. 
toes. Do you notice how it melts instead of just like burning? Like that's a high quality. Is it? it smells awful, by the way. It it's got the little nylon quality. fibers in it. Mmm, yummy. Hey, um, here I'll put a little fire marker down there for now. Okay, so so that's oh, we'll make it red. So that's on fire. So if we were to walk through that, it we would probably take something. Yeah, some, some kind of okay. Yeah. It'd be difficult terrain like every other space you pass through. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Burn my tootsies. Oh. <laughs> now I'm just looking at right. what kind of water shit I've got. <laughs> <laughs> I told I you I've got a cantrip. I've got a cantrip for... E <gasps> I think I've got shape water. I could take turlet water and douse the flames. <laughs> there is a significant amount of water in the room. Uh, I do so have shape as water. You're, uh, as your brain is twirling and you're thinking about your 79 cantrips that you currently have access to. Did you say twirling? Um, the guy is going to run around the corner. Out oh, of sight. Shit. Um, oh, oh, no. Guys, what about these trip guys? Do we need to like... They're both knocked out. We can let's let's pop out of initiative. OK, cool. we'll say when you tripped them, they're pretty weak. When you tripped them, they bonked their head on the carpet. And it was a little much, and now they're just sleeping peacefully. Okay. We should we should probably like follow the um, cultist, right? Yeah, hold on. Um, um so I'm I'm just reading shape water real quick, because I, I don't want to burn my tootsies. Um So choose you choose an area of water you can see within range and that fits within a five foot cube. Uh, you can instantaneously move or otherwise change the flow. Uh, that wouldn't work. You can cause the water to form into simple shapes and animate at your direction. I don't know what that would mean. Wait, did you say change the flow? Ch uh, change the flow, yeah. So if you turned the faucet on, you could like stand in the doorway and use that as like a little... But it says yeah. change that you can direct up to five feet in any direction. Oh, and that is, yeah. No. Um, you can change the water's color. But what you could do is you could just, you could fill the sink and you just pull out like a five foot cubes worth of water and you just. <laughs> and carry it with me. Yes. And you transport it. Yes. Let's do that. Um, or I can free. Okay. Yes. We're going to do that. We're going to turn it on. We're going to turn on faucet. Okay. Hold on. Hold on, guys. I'll be right back. I'm gonna yeah. You got to get back through the door first. Uh, oh, wait. Actually, is there sprinkler systems? Yes. Because if so, maybe I could use shape water and try to... Since it's not a huge area, it's pretty concentrated. I can try to gather a lot of those like kind of droplets that are going, you know, plate like over here that we don't need and try to direct the flow all to this one space of fire. Yeah, are oh, they like right. going off actively? Yep, there's a couple a couple in the hallway that are actively going off. Yeah, I'd like to shape water to try to like direct Here it the, off to this. We'll say that the floor is the floor is getting a little bit wet. So we'll give so, it a little blue a little blue color. This whole hallway is cursed. No, it's <laughs> it's you called it What did you call it? Cap is it Carpet? What? Car carpet. I'm, I'm talking about the ceiling. Looks as water spell. Yeah, I think that's. I think the big guy did that. Oh, well, like that's part of the carpet. Wait, what? The water in the ceiling? No, I think the big guy made it rain in here. I think he casts um, what's it called, sleet storm, but a bad one where it's not cold. He didn't look like he <laughs> cast many spells. I don't know. Maybe. I mean, neither do you. I mean, but... you explain why it's raining from the ceiling. Because the hallway's cursed. I just said that. Well, the fire's gone, so it's it's all fire's good. gone, and the uh, the make it rain spell has seemed to fade it away. Look at that! He ran out of water or spell slots or both or concentration, or he activated a different spell. One of the above. I'm, One of those things probably occurred. I mean, if he is like a water mage, that would explain why my fires didn't hurt him too much. Yeah, I don't know why he's red. I would think he'd be blue if he was water, wouldn't he? Like you know. I don't know. I'm green and I don't cast any green spells. Okay. 
GG? Yeah, what what do you do anyways? Like, I, what do you specialize in? Did you not see me direct all that water? I don't specialize in anything. I'm a jack of all trades. So hey, um, you do nothing. I'm a jack. I do every. <laughs> I do everything. GG. Oh, there's a door here. Yeah. Uh, do you want me to kick it? Yeah, kick it. He didn't go did in this you? door, did he? No, I don't think so. No. See, Gigi has a, a special set of skills. She kicks <clears throat> everything really good. I'm still figuring you out. I kick it. <laughs> See, that was the first. I I watched Jim that time <laughs> because I keep hearing these door noises. <laughs> I had to see him do it. This this time it just like uh, goes across the room and just kind of like plops against the other wall. Forgot to put the um, other wall in. My bad. I think I think they do cult shit in here. Those look like it's cult shit. Uh, those look like tables with like runes and like shit on them. And balls. Do you don't think that was the other room? It's the toilets. I, I no, that was turlet. I thought that was. I thought that was for teleportation, like the fountain that we oh, walked into. Oh, it's like toilet teleportation. I think. I think this is like. <laughs> I think this they like put bodies on it and then oh, and then they can like sacrifice. do runes and then sacrifice. Oh, it's a yeah. sacrificial chamber. There's a, guy oh. in there. yes. There's a guy in there with like four swords. Dude, yeah, and guy. I have to tell you guys, um, out of character just for a sec, he rolled a perception check <laughs> with advantage because the door just flew by him. <laughs> um and this has never happened to me before, but he got a one. On, with advantage one? with advantage he got a one he so, two he's just so DM, like... can you please tell us what is this person what is this creature doing that they well, got a one with advantage he's got to be distracted <laughs> by something right uh i think it's do they have the... headphones on and so like they can't they didn't hear anything well, he was looking at their back table. was to the door they had headphones on they're like jamming out playing billiards against themselves yeah well, he was he was looking at the sorcery table. It's obviously meant for some type of sacrifice. Duh. Right. Why else would it have these like blood grooves and these little holes mm -hmm. to collect the blood? blood the... Um, so That's he was what looking I'm at that, and he was uh, using one of his swords. I guess he's got two swords, and yes, and that, three I do spears. call it swords. Uh, and, and he was hammer. pushing around those little uh, sacrificial balls. I, I'll never say that again. He was pushing around the little <laughs> balls on the table um, when the door went flying. Uh, and then he was like, what? And he goes over to inspect the the flown door. Gotcha. Floon? Floon. I punch Floon. him in the back? Yeah, go for it. Kick him. With with rolling two ones, yes, you can punch him in the back. <laughs> I can't get in there. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to punch him in the back. I want you to get stuck in the door so that <laughs> Gigi's the only one that can be involved in this battle. <laughs> All right. Look at that. Look at that. Go ahead. You can you can have advantage on this back punch. Uh, oh, I don't know if I'll need well. it, but look I at, appreciate that. Look at my Tordo being a creep in the back there. <laughs> That's a 27 to punch. Yeah, that'll, that'll punch. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Uh, that'll do... Nine non-lethal damage. Nice. Should I just Ooh. flurry a blows him right off the bat? Yeah, I think so. He's pretty big. Or stunning strike. He's got a lot I can of weapons. Stunning strike him. He's got a lot of weapons. How do I do that again? I don't play monks very often. This is like the only monk I ever play. And then if you go to your features, when you, you hit should... with a melee weapon attack, you can spend a key point spent to make the target stun until the end of your turn. If it fails a con saving throw, the end of your next turn. Um, until the end of my next turn. Okay, I was they have to say, make the con saving the, throw now. I was going to say, if it's the until the end of this turn, I was like, that's a pretty shitty <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> he really does have a lot of weapons. Yeah, he's, he's got, got uh, three spears, two swords. a crossbow, a yep. hammer, a whip. A whip. Yeah, I didn't see the whip. And I guess his uh, tail could be a whip. So I need a con save from him. What's he looking for? DC 12. Yeah, that ain't going to happen. Okay, he's stunned. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have it. <clears throat> and how much damage is that? It does damage too, doesn't it? 
Um, just my regular attack does damage, which was nine non-lethal punch damage. Um, hey, you should come in and and disarm him. I can't. I can't. Oh, he's knocked I out. I literally can't. You have the spell. I only got three more cast. What if I well, need it? Well, I need you in here now. <laughs> All right, but I swear to God, if we had to go through two more doors. <laughs> uh, wait, dis disarm him? What do you mean? Well, he's like knocked out. Like, take his swords away. So when he wakes up, he can't hit us. I don't think I can take all these weapons away in well, one six two seconds. Of you. All right, I'm going to start. Here, we'll. Oh, no, that way. Come back, buddy. Go sideways. There we go. I'll start taking weapons from him. Which Maybe, one do you want first? Uh, swords first, I think. Swords first. All right, Eric, what are you going to do during this? So am I moving like in an initiative order or no? Oh, uh, no, he's like, knocked out right now. Okay, so. then I'm just going to I'm going to walk inside the room. I'm going to take a look around and kind of see what they're doing, see that they're attempting to steal his swords. And um, I'm going to check out these tables. Oh, it seems like you got these. I'm going to check out these sacrificial tables real quick. So, they have uh, this green type of fur, like really, really short, fuzzy fur, <laughs> green uh, fur. all over it. And like these strange orbs all over. Yeah, those or not sacrificial balls. We decided been, not to call them that. Do you think they've been pondering their orbs? <laughs> I'm going to... Um, I don't know why I said that in character. I'm going to... Uh, <laughs> Can I do a Arcana check to see if yes. there's some sort of magic about this table? Yes, please do. All right, that is, oh, that's pretty good. That's a 19 total. Okay, so uh, using your powers of inference and your very, um, <laughs> I guess, in-depth knowledge of children's party magic and other types of magic as well, probably, you realize that the uh, that triangle symbol that's on there you've mm -hmm. seen that somewhere before yes triangle you have seen a triangle before uh and it does have magical connotations back where you came from so it's like 60 triangles represent a balance of the elements mm -hmm. and these orbs you notice they have a little weight to them i think if put in the correct sequence these can actually open a, a portal similar to the one that we came in through that's good, yeah. Um, let's get this guy tied up or something, and then we can start to mess with that. Yeah, you two do that. I'm going to mess with the orbs. I'm going to start trying to arrange the orbs in different order. I'm assuming numbers are the same, right, for us? Yeah, I think so. So I'm just going to, like, <laughs> just going to essentially set up a pool table. <laughs> <laughs> You'll notice this one's also triangles. I, I feel like maybe I can fit all these in here. <laughs> and have like the thing that you use to set up whatever it's called that you use to set up the uh, start the of the game. The triangle. The tri it's literally <laughs> called, it's a called the triangle. Right? <laughs> uh, um, let me set up the triangle. I'm looking I, at my inventory I, to see if you I have know, any. I think that if you alternate them between stripe, the striped ones and the solid ones, I, I hear. And then if you put that black one in the middle, I hear that that's that's like a really like magical thing. Oh yeah. Was, Why are some striped and some not striped? I'm, I'm like getting out rope. I do have some rope. I just checked. Uh, I'm getting out rope and I'm like trying to like tie this dude up. So is fantasy world the same as 1765? Because that's when pool was invented. What? <laughs> 1765? What? I guess that's pretty late. So like 11 pretty years late? before the American Revolution. Like people were playing pool for 11 years. Dude, I didn't, I didn't think pool was invented until like mid to late 1800s or something or uh, i don't know I do you guys think billiards was actually the real reason for the american revolution probably maybe someone lost a bet or something someone Somebody wanted to call a it bet. Pool. Yeah. a really big bet tell you what like, i make this trick duels. shot and, <laughs> and i get and my own to, country and we get to secede from you guys <laughs> and make our own country yeah i make this shot we're going to kick these brits out of here <laughs> <laughs> all right i'll uh sorry drundu <laughs> yeah i'm gonna do this for my research project for sure so thanks for that i love it all right so you uh you make the holy symbol um and the 
Um, now all of the uh, sacrificial orbs are pointing directly towards the other table. But the other table's still in disarray. Nothing oh, nothing yeah. happens. There's no like click, no triggers or anything like that. Mm, Eric, maybe we got to do like both of them. Maybe it's like a matching portal system. So you're saying we need to set them both up in the same so way. Set them or mirror images or both oh, the same. Oh, and what is all these weird diamonds on here? You see that? How is this these weird diamond symbols? Mm -hmm. Diamond? Oh, on like on the edges. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Maybe it's decoration. And these holes. So you think they hide the orbs in here? But like, oh, I think we caught them like in the middle of his ritual. Because I don't normally these are probably go inside, you know, like for like a it's like a hiding place. Or that's where um, like blood pools into the. Oh, uh, blood. Yes. Yeah. So they blood pools into there. So maybe just so you guys know, tables. this is. This is <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's could be it. Blood pool tables. The. Uh, by the way, this is one that has the little the fancy system underneath where when a ball goes in, it disappears and then it just puts itself back on the side. <laughs> They're not and just look, pockets. It's the whole yeah. thing. <laughs> and look at these weird cubes. I think they use this powder for some sort of ritual. Oh, I like start putting the chalk, the blue chalk on my face. That's definitely a spell <laughs> component. Boar paint. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Right, what do you got, Eric? You got a way home? Well, I don't know about that, but I think if maybe we set up both the tables the same, something will happen. I mean, did you search the sword guy? Maybe he got some information on him. Um, he you want me to wake him up? Well, don't wake him up. Just search him. I mean, my stun only lasts like six seconds, so. <laughs> well, it's been a lot longer than that. That's probably why he's staring at us. <laughs> he's, he's just laying there yeah, playing dead. His eyes opened like a minute and a half ago, and he's, he's just watching you guys. <laughs> These fucking idiots. Like, <laughs> do, you all, do you need me to, like, kick anything for this? <laughs> um, you, uh, I, I've, I've heard that if, if if it gets stuck, you just, like, kick it, and it'll, it'll come out. Wait, what? If what gets stuck, what will come out? If, if, you kick if one it? of the sacrificial balls gets stuck in the... In the in the in the blood tubes, you could just kick the table and and then they come out. Sure, yes, please, Gigi, uh, kick it. Gigi, make a while you kick it, make a perception check <sighs> to try to find the blood tube. <laughs> I almost just rolled a d6 for that. Yeah, it's probably not gonna be much different. Um, listen, perception. That's a ten. Mm -hmm. All right. You, uh, while you're kicking the blood tube, um, <laughs> you see something out in the hallway. Just a mm -hmm. flash of, of movement. Shit. Oh, did you guys see that? Mm, no, the blood. You find the blood tube? N no, in, in the hallway. N no. Do I have to leave now? Because that's going to use another one of my. The. <laughs> I don't know. There might be another way out of this room. The um, the cobalt weapons master on the ground just like slowly rolls over <laughs> inside of his bonds. And he's like, guys, I really thought you had it with the table thing. Um, I was really rooting for you there at the end. Uh, thanks. Are you cool? Like, are you cool? Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm fine. Um, somebody, will, wait, somebody will come oh, back wait, and find wait, me. Wait, 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 wait. You can't ask him. You can't ask him that. You got you to gotta say... Um, are you are you a cultist? You're legally obligated to tell me if you're a cultist yes. if I ask you if you're a cultist. Yes. Are you an Am I legally obligated to tell you if I'm a cultist if I'm not a cultist? Because then yes. I don't. You're a cultist? I No. Wait. I'm supposed to say yes is what you said? If you if you're a cultist, you have to tell us that you're a cultist. And oh, if you're okay. not a cultist, you have to tell us that you're not a cultist. That's also the okay. law. Yeah, I'm not. Oh. Okay. Sorry oh, for shit. The, sorry okay, for the well, kick. I'm going to... Gigi's going to help him up. Yeah, yeah. Let's get you <laughs> yeah. back up. Okay, cool. Yeah, I was going to ask if you could just roll me over on my side, but that's even better. Yeah, you're it's... pretty top heavy. Um, Here we go. Oof. All right. Oh, so he's you... still tied up. Did um, you need your swords like... back? 
help him up while he's still tied I mean, up. We're going to give him his swords back? Well, I mean, if he's like not a cultist. Well, we're, we're here for cultists, right? Have well, you sold any um, tomatoes yeah. recently? Tomatoes? Heirloom? Yeah. No. I'm an obligate carnivore, so yeah, I, don't, I just don't touch the stuff. Uh, what kind See, of... he likes bacon, too. Oh, I do like bacon. You guys got bacon? Uh, and he pulls out I mean, some pocket bacon. I mean, if you can help bacon. us get out of here, yo, we can get you, you some pocket... BLTs. Well, wait, wait, wait. He's got pocket bacon for you guys. Yeah, I got pocket bacon. At first, you I thought that's what those bacon? holes in the table were for, but for I tried holding... to stuff all the holes with pocket bacon and nothing happened. Yeah, I of course what, it's what not you... meant for pocket bacon. What did you I mean... think was going to happen if you stuffed it with bacon? I thought maybe you would, like, you know, make more bacon. That's not how bacon works. Bacon comes from pigs. Okay, you just ruined bacon for me. Okay, we're looking for. I mean, I'll, um, if 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 bacon's ruined for you, I'll I'll eat your pocket bacon. We're looking for brawn. You know where brawn is? No, that's brawn? the bartender. Never mind. What's the? Other, hey guys, what's the other dude's name that we're looking for? Do we have a name, or did we just? He's big. He's got uh, braided hair, uh, no shirt, loincloth, skimitar. Oh, you talking about Swole Guy? He's my boss. Oh, is that his name, Swole Guy? No, no, no. He has a real name. Which is? Oh, I can't tell you that. Wait, why not? I thought we were friends now. Oh, yeah, we're friends now. But if I tell you, I have to kill you. Isn't that what the saying is? Um, I'm going to cast Charm Person on him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so he will need to make a uh, Charisma? I believe it's a charisma saving ch saving throw. Uh, I had to scroll through all my phone. Oh, I can, there's a search bar on D&D Beyond now. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah. Uh, he needs to make I a 12 wisdom there. saving throw. He probably has. <laughs> he needs to make a 12 he... wisdom save. Nope, he got an 11. Oh! So uh, what that means is you attempt to charm a humanoid. You can see within range. It must make a blah, 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 blah. Uh, if it fails, it is charmed by you until the spell ends, which is one hour. Um, unless I lose concentration. Wait, this isn't even concentration. Never mind. Um, so you just for one hour. The charm creature regards me as a friendly acquaintance. Hmm. Uh, but when it ends, he does know that I charmed him. So in one Ooh. hour, we may need to deal with him. Um, yeah, so you were saying about... Uh, can't remember his name. Uh, he has this little sparkly look in his eyes. Um, my tongue. Super friendly, and then he's like, "Chad, Chad, Chad." That's it. Yeah, Dad, yeah. Did yeah. you did you know that, Dad? You knew his name was Chad. Me? No, yeah. I, no, I didn't know that. I, I charmed him. Oh. Tar oh. Shh. <laughs> All right, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, Chad. Yeah, Chad. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, God, get... yeah. I... <laughs> Man, that was just that was just you know just, right on the um, tip of my tongue. Hey, let guys. me just uh, use my number three of the uh, <laughs> day. I got one more. <laughs> All right, now yeah, yeah, we gotta go okay. get. I mean, you stay here, hey, though. Hey, buddy. Um, you know, sorry about that whole knocking you out, tying you up thing. You, you know, it's like we old friends. You know, you just you see don't see each other for a while, and you know, you just kind of knock them out. Yeah. yeah, you know, that's pretty common, right? Okay, we're going yeah, to okay. go. We just need to go. Wait, oh, hey, before, you guys, to... Yep. before you guys go, could you just put the door back? Um, I oh. want to work on these tables a little bit, and uh -huh. it gets a little drafty. I got mending. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I got mending. Yeah, got yeah, yeah, yeah sure. sure. Sure, 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 sure. Yeah, so, absolutely. Gigi, you bring it back here. Uh, Eric, yeah, come out okay. first real quick. Hold on, wait, wait, let Eric out first. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, what did you try to do? I mean, I, we didn't even set up the other table yet. No, I don't think that's a thing. I don't think that's a thing, Eric. You literally told me that's where the blood goes. I don't think it is, though. Wait, yeah. what if we use his blood? No. We I'm don't have to. <laughs> I'm going to cast mending on the door and fix it on the hinges. <laughs> nice. What's such a sudden change of heart? It's because he was, he told us the guy's name. It's Chad. We should move. We should move. We should move. We should move. We only have run, so much run, time run, before run, 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 know run. That Come we're on, not. Eric. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh no. Sorry, I bumped into you. Oh, what did I do? 
Oh, you can. Oh, no. oh you can select. Oh man, oh, no. look at that. Hey guys, you can hold click and like select a bunch of shit. But since, oh. I, since I'm just a hold player, on, I, I think only... I need to refresh the page. Oh, what'd you what have did you, you get? Did you get stuck blocking me in? It, it just was <laughs> panning constantly. <laughs> <laughs> Your keyboard got stuck or something. <laughs> <laughs> it was basically like I was just holding down D the entire time, even though I wasn't. <laughs> You okay, are going to realize okay. that this world is actually flat. I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah. I, okay. I want somebody to okay, I can move now. Um, okay, there we go. Okay, so we got like a hallway this way, and it looks like there's like a door down. Should we try to kick down this door first over here? Or the one in that hallway? Oh, shoot. We got two doors. We got two doors yeah, we to got, pick. Yeah, we got two options Eric, here. Eric, you want to pick? I don't think you got to pick a door to kick in yet. I Eric. have not picked a door, but I will say she does have two feet. Just saying, she she could <laughs> kick. Her, her legs aren't long enough to kick both simultaneously, though, Eric. Do you do want me to do this, this one first? Time. Yeah, we yeah, just yeah, get yeah, down that here. Do that one first. Kick okay. this one. Kick. <laughs> That's never gonna get old. Oh, there's a door on the other side. Oh. <gasps> what? I think what is... you just kicked the door into the dude. Why is that? Why is that door just like standing up suddenly across the room? I think it kicked him <laughs> in the. Ch I think she kicked the door into the chat. Wait, Chad's behind that door? I think I see his red skimitar poking out. <laughs> Chad! What? Oh, Wait, help! Whoa, what is help. this shit? Wait, we're not going to help him. Chad, right? are you a cultist? You're legally obligated to tell us if you're a cultist. <laughs> and if you're not, you are too. And Wait, it's not so that's if entrapment. You, if I'm not, and I'm obligated to tell you that I am, do I have to say that I am? Yeah, well, so it's entrapment. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm a cultist. Ah, got him. <laughs> You're under arrest. That's not even the law. You're dumb. <laughs> can, you, <laughs> can, can you help me out here? I kind of got my sword stuck in this, uh, this I mean, door. I mean, if you're a cultist. I'm not going to use we, my last. Like, we shouldn't help him, right, y'all? No, he's, he's got a door on him now. Now he's going to be invincible. If, watch out, GG. He's right behind you. Ah, kick! <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, when you use this this system, <laughs> it completely changes <laughs> tabletop <laughs> role playing games. Yeah, as soon as you're like behind you, she like roundhouse kicks behind her. <laughs> Kicked him up against the wall again. He's like, "Ow! Seriously, guys, help me!" <clears throat> Listen, we're not. We're not here to help cultists. You just, well, I mean, you just uh, literally said you're a cultist. You told me to. I'm not actually a cultist. I'm just a thief. I, I, I said, they, if you're a cultist, you're literally obligated to tell us. Yeah, I'm not. I, I think. Well, then no, then why did you say you are? Because now I, I think, can't trust I think anything the, you I think say. They've got the law confused. And uh, uh, what was his name back there that we? didn't kill um he also said the same thing where he was like yeah i'm a cultist because he said i had to say i'm a cultist i they didn't no, you only have to say you're a cultist if you're a cultist yeah yeah yeah. oh if you're not a cultist and you just have to say you're not a cultist oh okay I, i'm not a i'm not a cultist could, listen could you just just well, yank on my sword see if we can get this wall off wait, don't yank on the sword that'll yank on the cut door. my hand yeah yank on the door don't you don't grab a sword yeah, who, who grabs a sword who is this guy who is you know what you know what chad no one grabs swords chad you're damn right they don't and as he says it he goes, pushes the doors, <laughs> door towards you <laughs> uh make a dexterity saving throw happily your knee is stuck no, in maybe it now. Not. that's a 14. <laughs> 14. all right cool it uh pops you on the knee and then just kind of like blah plunk flops over onto the ground what the fuck was that, Chad? I really thought that would just be like a cool move where you just like knocked you out and I would like win the battle. Do you battle, see how big but... I am? Yeah, I mean, hindsight, I couldn't actually see you. There was a the, door in the there's way. There's also two more of us back here. Like you couldn't knock all three of us out. Oh, hey guys, I didn't even see you there. Yeah, we are. Um, we need Tell your, you what. We need your tomatoes. Uh, what does that mean? Is that sexual? This is very it's, uncomfortable for me. It's not. <laughs> It's the the queen air... said that you stole her tomatoes, heirlooms, and we're here to get them back. Also, Chad, uh, hmm. did you steal the computer? Specifically, on this your heirloom this, tomatoes. We don't this... want your your crappy Roma tomatoes. We don't want your 
your crappy guys what other kind of tomatoes are there we don't we don't want those other kinds we just we just need the heirloom ones the ones that you stole from the queen oh i understand uh it's code words cool got it so uh while he says that he picks up this monitor this off of the word? off of the desk and he throws it at you oh what the fuck is this <laughs> make another dexterity <laughs> saving throw I'm trying to oh, look up. Good. I'm trying to look up different kind of tomatoes. I that's don't only know, eight. I don't know what to look for. Yeah. Okay. I just so got that's gonna by a monitor. You did. It hits you right in the good knee. Your kicking knee. Oh no. Um, I'm worried. And then why it makes this you stumble backwards. This desk doesn't have a computer on it. It's got to be a story. It's, it's got to be a plot hook, it's right? It's got to be. I know. That's why I'm, I'm like ninety-five percent it. sure it's on the wrong layer because when we were back in the bar, I saw a computer <laughs> sitting out about thirty <laughs> square feet away. Jim probably it was, had it. It was over here. <laughs> I just it was literally over here, and I noticed it when we walked in the room, so I deleted it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that is the beauty Funny. of the system. Uh, the DM can do shit very quickly on the fly. That's right. It's a uh, it's all intentional. <clears throat> so yeah. Why are, why are you hitting me with the portable portal? <laughs> oh yeah. You guys uh you guys figured out how these things work. I just use them to throw at people. Um uh, uh, I mean I kicked, kicked one, one earlier and broke it. Oh nice. Did you guys see the really big one back at the entrance over yes, there? He that's... picks up the monitor and he throws yeah. it. At you. <laughs> oh, uh... <laughs> okay, guys. Throw shit back at him, Gigi. I can't get That's in there. That's a nat 20. It, can I? Right. Wait, hold on one <laughs> yeah, second. Tell me what you want. <gasps> is this considered a missile? I know what yeah. you're doing. Sure is. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, as the monitor is flying towards you, you catch a glimpse of the brand name and it says missile. <laughs> <laughs> um, I would like to deflect missiles and um, shoot it back at I him. have a free hand. So I'd like to spend a key point to make a ranged attack uh, with with this monitor and throw it back at him. <laughs> I don't actually know what I need to do for that. Do I just make it I think it's just like roll? you're making a, a dex okay. ranged weapon at that As time. with a yep. monk weapon, it says. Yeah, kind of just like a, one of your darts, probably. So that's a 25 to hit. That'll hit. <laughs> so I'm going to knock him out or whatever. Do your uh, I was ready that damage. time. Uh, I don't know how much damage does a <laughs> portable portal do. Uh, like one d four maybe. Okay. Um, do I get to add my my extra damage, like my my proficient yeah. in this? Okay, yeah, you're proficient in bludgeoning uh, damage. I think monks monitor are one of the, throwing. I think monks are one of the, like the. Um, like most complicated characters to play, yeah. The monks and bl uh, blood hunters. Those are like the only two oh that God, are blood actually hunters like, are so hard. Yeah, confusing. Well, they both break all the rules. They're both like, listen, here's all the rules, and then here are all the ways you should break them. Yes. So that's why those are the two my two least played characters <laughs> is monk and blood. Chad, hunter. what the fuck's wrong with you? Why are you throwing these portable portals <laughs> at me? I just I I thought it was clear I. I thought I was the bad guy. I thought you guys were the good guy. Maybe, we, maybe that's not the case. No, like, it is. We just need I the mean, shit you stole, and then we're, we'll leave. But just so yeah, that you know, totally. like your little friends were saying we we're the bad guys. Oh, but like you wait, said, actually, you're hold the bad on. That's, guy. that's that's not all we need. Um, Chad, can you also tell us how much a unit is? Oh yeah. A unit of what? Yeah, what's a unit? That seems rather out of context. Well, you were paying units. You told Bron. Our our bartender friend that you were gonna pay for that room in units. Oh, we need to know what the unit is. Yeah, it's not a thing. It's it's actually zero. The unit is zero. So two hundred times zero equals zero. I, I'm I'm not paying that. Guy. Oh, bronze. I was just like basically that. needed to use his portal. Mm, now we. So may what need were to you paying you. all those guys I just fried? Uh, what? Wait, did you? Did you kill my kobolds? I mean, uh, yeah, once you like right there, like, I'm, I just a couple of them fire. were non lethal kills, right? And then someone in the fireball that hit you too. <laughs> yeah, non lethal you notice, kill. <laughs> you notice how your like skirt thing is like burned? That was me. Yeah, that was this guy right here. Well, I mean, I, I saw you killed those three, but uh, is Johnny okay? You uh, see a little tear. Johnny is Johnny's, on the side of his eye. Johnny's okay. 
I think okay, he might have shit himself. But your your buddy okay. with like six weapons is okay. He's playing pool. Oh, Brad. Yeah, Brad. Brad, Brad. Yeah, I keep forgetting his name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, he throws a monitor at you, Eric. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, dude? I wish I had a flex missile. <laughs> Make a dexterity saving throw. Okay. Look, we're trying to have a conversation. Like, we just want to get the shit back that you stole. That's a uh, 17. Okay. That'll be good. So you, uh, how did you, how did you, uh, how did you escape this monitor? I'm this just missile? short and I yeah. like ducked a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Just barely dipped an <laughs> inch or two. So it crashes against the wall behind you. What was that for? Why yeah. are you throwing these little portals at me? I just, I thought it was clear that we're, we're in the boss fight right now, so. Anyways, keep talking, guys. Keep Wait, talking. Wait, so you're in no, the boss fight? No, I only used like one guys, spell this whole time. Guys, we need. Yeah, let's. Um, uh, maybe we should roll some initiative. Can I, I just think cast this... a fireball? I don't know what. <laughs> this guy just keeps throwing computer. He's running out of monitors, though. But I think after that, he's going to start attacking us with the scimitar. So we may need to just, like, right. kill this guy. I mean, if you want me to hit him. I I do, GG. Will you hit him, please? Okay, Wait, no, don't hit me. It? Do we need a roll for initiative? <laughs> <laughs> nah, go ahead and hit him. Okay, Gigi's gonna go up to him, and no. she's just gonna let let it all out. So, <clears throat> let's see here. Um. So I think, is my fist considered a simple or martial weapon? I think once you get to a I certain... I think it's a martial weapon, right? I think once you get to a certain level for monks, then it... No, that's magical. I know once you get to a certain monk level, it makes your unarmed attacks magical. It says martial arts, so I assume that makes it a martial weapon? What, uh, what, uh... Like what's going to no, be the I, difference? No, I think your your unarmed damage goes up with level. I think that's how it works for. So yeah. I have Orcish Fury, and it says uh -huh. that once per short rest, when I hit with an attack using a simple or martial weapon, you can roll one of the weapon's damage dice an additional time and add it as extra damage of the weapon's damage type. Oh. So it's not because it's an unarmed strike, but let's uh let's say you have a special fist. <laughs> okay. You got brass it is knuckles. Magic, you got kinda. brass knuckles. Um, otherwise, I could just hit him with. Well, those are both ranged. I have a javelin and darts, so I guess that would <laughs> point, work. Point Fucking blank javelin. Stab him. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna roll the hit. Enough of this talking shit. That's, That's a right. 27 to hit. No more yeah, diplomacy. Um. Do you say it's cool if I pretend like my fists are? Yep. So that's seven plus. Um, you can roll one of the damage dice an additional time. So that's eleven bludgeoning damage. Nice. And then I'm going to also use a key point to make that flurry of blows. Um, which means you can make two unarmed strikes as a bonus action. Um, uh, one of those is only 11 to hit. That does not hit. The other one is 14 to hit. That does hit. Okay. So that's going to be another six damage and then i get extra attack so i'm gonna punch him again and that's a 19 to hit yep and that's gonna be another seven damage and i'm gonna make that one a stunning strike so i'm gonna use another key point um uh so you just make the con save again DC 12. Was it 12? He got it. Oh, damn. Okay. Damn well, that's my turn. I just hit him a bunch. Bunches of punches. Oh. <laughs> yep. 
Punches the punches. You guys are just like standing back there at the entrance, just watching this guy get pummeled. <laughs> Look at, I can't go in there. I've only got one more, and I don't want to get stuck right. in a room. All right. Now let's roll initiative. Hell yeah. I got a plus zero to my initiative. I rolled two. <laughs> two plus zero is still That's two. a nat 20. I got 22 on my initiative. Holy shit. Okay. That's a lot better than it's a uh, two. A regular two. Oh my that is a is. nice die. That is a really nice die. What's that yeah. material? It looks like, it looks like heavy. Um, there, oh, there we go. They're my Venture Maiden's dice. And they're made by RPG dice. What's that material? Cool. Is it heavy? It looks heavy. No, it's like, I think it's just like the way that he colors them. Okay. It's like, just regular, it's kind like of like resin. a cloudy purple color. Yeah, I, I, I'm not sure. What the, I don't know the materials, I've, but uh, yeah, it's like know. a, it's like a normal. Like I've if I were to compare like one of two these. dice, they're pretty Ooh, what's size. that? Ooh, Which is, that looks good. This too. is one of the extra masters from our Kickstarter dice set. So oh, it's unpolished that, that and all that. So it still has the ridges. Yeah, that's the Tabula yeah. Sono logo. Yeah, I was going to say, that's the Tabula oh, Sono. Cool. Nice. Yeah. Very cool. So we're going to ship out our Kickstarter dice next week. So it'll be uh, I, pretty cool. I've got so a, I have uh, been cool sanding cool and tables? polishing these cool things <laughs> for weeks. I've got a, <laughs> uh, a really nice set of uh, Dyson V dice that we got. Uh, that's like a very heavy material. Um, and it like has a cool box and stuff, and uh, it was nice. for the, our charity event, and uh, it went unclaimed. So instead, it's going to be a, a door prize at GooseCon. Ha! Oh, yeah. Good. Should to we talk know. about GooseCon for a sec? Um. Yeah, I <laughs> rolled in the middle shift. of combat. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'll talk about GooseCon a lot at the end, so we'll we'll yeah. save we'll save it. But yeah. Eric, what'd you get for initiative? Eric got a. 16. Much okay, better. so that's wow. more than so, a two. Yeah, so I'm the. I'll just be out here in the hallway. <laughs> Last time I got three, okay. So. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. Gigi, you're up again. Yeah, she's going to punch pummelage. again. Yeah. I don't know if you're surprised by that or not at this point, but um, yeah, she's going to hit. Uh, that's going to be 19. That'll hit. To hit. Um, six damage. Okay. And I'm pretty sure, yeah, I can only use that once per short rest. So then I'm going to uh, use a key point, which is my final key point, and do a flurry of blows so I get two more hits. That's a 27 to hit. Yeah, or 26. Hit. 26 and 20. Five to hit. Yep, yep. So that's six damage on the first one, another six damage on the second one, and then she's gonna take an extra attack and hit again. That's seventeen to hit. <laughs> yep, that'll work. <laughs> and that's gonna be another eight damage. All right, I'm gonna pull out my calculator here real quick because <laughs> you did Sixty-two damage in the last two turns. What the wow. fuck? You're level five. Cool it. I've also expended all of my key points and basically every feature that I have that I can use right now. So, don't tell Chad that. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, Chad is just like poof, 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 just getting smacked in the face yeah. over and over again. Uh, it's his turn. He like pulls his face back, and then he shouts something, and the thing that he shouts is. I cast summon Brad. And then poof, what? Brad appears. Damn it. I wish I had that spell. It's a pretty good spell. But he still likes us. <gasps> yeah, he's still charmed, right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or at least he likes He, he at least likes, likes me. Yeah. And then he turns he turns to Brad and he's like, Brad, attack. And then he swipes his hand, it swipes his scimitar across this table and <laughs> Throws the monitor towards you with this scimitar. Is that there's one more monitor? Is that it? <laughs> um, more. He can I throw monitors like to, as a bonus action. Uh, deflect missiles. Fuck yes. As a reaction. Um, when you do so, the damage you take from the attack is reduced by one d ten plus seven. 
that'll be enough to make it zero. <laughs> okay, so if I reduce the damage to zero and I have a free hand, oh, I don't have any key points. I can't throw it back. Oh, but shit. I, well, I just don't I mean, take damage from yeah. it. Yeah. You just B slap the monitor and it just <laughs> falls straight to the ground. Yeah. <laughs> Hell no. Yep. Not again. Brad, Not my... I thought we had a thing going. <laughs> Brad, Brad just looks around confused. He he looks over, he sees, he looks over at Chad, uh, and that's the end of his turn. Eric, it's your turn. All right. Brad, I thought Eric. we were homies. Eric is going to, um, let's see, I'm going to like, can I like jump on this table or is that required a thing? Yeah, go for it. I'm going to jump on the table and go, hey, Brad, look over here. Hold and down the Y key on your keyboard and then drag him up. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I created that awesome bug. Okay, I'm jumping on the table and I'm going to point at Brad and I'm going to, because they're both lined up in such a way, I'm going to cast Agonizer Scorcher <laughs> and create this line, this pillar of flame that hits both of them essentially. Nice for 4d8 so let's see holy sh uh okay well it wasn't the best roll that's 12 damage assuming they don't save wait hold on 4d8 is and you got 12 correct that's very low how <laughs> i rolled on this is what i get for rolling fake dice it's like the danny curse how'd you i don't know i don't that's... know i'm sorry <laughs> <laughs> i failed this all the dex 14 save Failed. That's, that's a game. Both of the them hallway. failed. All right, so 14 fire damage in a pillar of flame. Level three spell gone for 14 damage. <laughs> you also... did 33 in the hallway, so. That's true. All right, Mr. Hallway, what you going to do? Yeah. Um, I'm going to... Uh... Cast an actual spell, not just a cantrip. It's funny because I've got two third level spell slots, um, but I don't have any spells above level one. <laughs> but luckily, it'll <laughs> at least scale up. I'm going to um, look back on my uh, summer I spent at the Cathedral of Shantea, and I'm going to channel Guiding Bolt. And I'm going to shoot Guiding Bolt at Brad. No, no, no. Yes, Brad, not Chad. Brad's the one throwing all the monitors, right? No. No, Chad's the one. Chad's... Okay, so I'm going to throw that shit at Chad. Brad's my butt. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to try to uh, shoot this uh, guiding bolt, and um, I've got... I'm looking at... It. Oh, this is cool, because I can actually look at it in first person from what my character's looking at. I don't know how I would hit that. <laughs> <laughs> I've got Eric on a desk in front of me. I've got uh, my buddy Brad uh, blocking it, and then Chad. Um, you know what? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do my last. <laughs> my last door. My last door tech. Uh, and then I'm gonna cast a third level guiding bolt. Nice. And it was a dirty twenty to hit. All right, that'll hit. 20 points. Of, that would have been really sad if you used that spell to get through the door. And I then you know. Failed to hit. 21 points of radiant damage, and he's now Whoa. lit up like a Christmas tree, which grants everybody advantage on attacking him until my next turn. Ooh. Well, Chad is starting to look a little worse for wear. Good. I would certainly think so. I would hope yeah. so after he threw every fucking monitor in this room. I don't like him. <laughs> There's still one more monitor. Yeah, but Just Eric's saying. guarding it. <laughs> uh, wait, whose turn is it? That was get. So back to GG. Kick him. Back to me. I'm gonna kick him. <laughs> I can just only do two regular attacks, though. Damn, you're taller than him, GG. <laughs> well, duh. Uh, that's a twenty-one to hit for the first one. Yep. And for my extra attack, that'll be a dirty 20 to hit. Yep. Ooh, I just threw that die on the ground. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? It's okay. gone forever. 
Uh, that's a god. I keep rolling a one on this d6. That's a six for the first hit. Ooh, there we go. That's uh, 11 for the second one. Nice. So 17 total. Okay. All right. I don't think that there's really anything else that I can do because pretty much everything takes a key point to do. Yep. Once, once you've been monked out, pretty yeah. much you just kick and slap things. <laughs> Uh, all right, it's Chad's turn. Um, <clears throat> Chad looks around and he's like, I cast make myself slightly taller than the person in front of me. There's a real name for that spell, but this one's better. Uh, and as he oh, does that, he, uh, it pushes all the things out of the way. Oh, shit. And he looks over at Brad and he's like, Brad, why hath thou forsaken me? <laughs> Uh, and then he swings his scimitar in a very wide arc from over here all the way over there. Oh, so no. Both Brad and Gigi need to make a dexterity save. Oh, wait. Yeah, dexterity saving throw. Hey, G Gigi, don't you also have a potion of growth? <laughs> Just wait until it's my turn. <laughs> I think we'll find That's out a next turn. 13 on my dex save. All right. Uh, the good news is... Um, you both failed together. So. <laughs> That's okay. I can take a hit. The failures yeah, you made along the way. It's not much anyway. You'll both take 22 points of slicing damage. Poor Brad. I'm just kind of poking around a little bit now on some of the... Ow. Some features. All right. And then, uh, and then he turns off to the side and he just like <laughs> goes through all that stuff. You want to take a... That. You gonna take an opportunity attack? Oh uh, yeah, sure. I'll, I'll I'll try to punch him. He's Do just be lining for this other monitor. Yeah, that'll hit. That's a twenty-two. Yep. I'll be another seven damage. Seven. Seven damage. Oh. oh, oh. All right, and it's Eric's turn. Okay, so. I've used my good spells. So I think what Eric is going to do is I'm going to turn towards have we decided on a, a name for this the, the big boss yet? Chad. It's yeah, it's Chad. Chad. Oh, it is Chad? I almost thought that was ironic. Okay, so Chad <laughs> I'm going to point at Chad and go alright, Vista, if you want to play, then we can play. And I'm going to cast Agonizer Scorcher again, except this time it's going to be a little weaker. Um, I think it might be a good idea. So if I jump down off the table and move here, that does not invoke any type of opportunity or anything, Correct. right? Yeah, still in melee. All right, yeah, so... I like that you're still flying, by the way. <laughs> yes, that's great. Uh, I'm going to apologize because I'll... I don't know. Is, is she going to be within the within the range of this? Probably. What's How many range? feet what is the... You did say you're an evocation wizard, right? Do you have okay. shape shape yet? Where you can shape your evocation spells and protect friendlies? Uh, I mean, maybe. But what level is that kick in? That's like when you first get evocation. Uh, the school evo evocation, that's like their big bonus is that they can shape their evocation spells to protect they can choose who is targeted yeah they can protect a specific number of allies sculpt yeah, yeah. sculpt yeah well, second perfect. second level so you're good perfect uh, so i will uh, sculpt my agonizer scorcher at level two this time and cast it so that it hits chad and brad is that correct mm -hmm. yes yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right chad and brad will feel the heat so let's see what happens. Uh, so it's still going to be a dex 14 saving throw. And uh, for damage, it's 12. <laughs> oh my goodness. So, so that spell good. needs to get retired, Chad, Jeremy. Chad saved. So he oh takes six. six. <laughs> but Brad did not. So he takes the full 12. Okay. Brad's not looking too hot, y'all. I'll no. take that, Brad. You think you're so cool? Or hot or whatever. Get. Uh, yeah. 
<laughs> All right, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to max out for my last third level spell slot. I'm going to max out not Jim's magic missile, unfortunately. Just my old school regular ass magic missile. Uh, so it's going to be a total of um, five darts. So let me... Oh, does it only roll one dart at a time? That's going to be annoying. Uh, here, let me pull up Google Dice Roller because I also don't have physical dice by me. Okay, so I need to roll. Uh, so Magic Missile initially is three darts. So this can be five darts. So that Send is, them all to Brad. I'm sending them all straight to Chad. Not Brad. Oh. I love Brad. Oh. I'm going to send them all straight to Chad. And that is going to be 12 plus 5, 17 points of damage. As all of these go sh just like they're kind of swirling around. Some are hitting them in the chest, some in the head, some in the back. It's just a flurry of these uh, purple translucent darts like just swarming him. Well, one of them, the last one, is going to kill him. Just barely. Oh, I don't have uh, to use so my potion. Why don't <laughs> no, no. Uh, you can still you use know. it and just make you it can. real bad, big. <laughs> just you weren't paying attention. You were just thinking about the potion the whole time. Yeah. Getting it the out. Battle of, in. It was stuck in her pocket. Her pockets were a yeah. little too tight, and she finally got it out and like uncorked it, and then sees uh, this last magic missile go like through his mouth and out the back of his head, and him <laughs> drop down. And she's like, "Oh shit." <laughs> well, do you want to cast it anyway? Drink it. Drink sure, I'll drink it anyway. Drink it. And, and as oh, that no, happens, you're not going to get through doors either now. Shrinks back. <laughs> no, no, you, you can't fit through <laughs> doors either. I'm out of, I can't go through any more doors. We're going to have to get and through. The, <laughs> the entire party, uh, except for Eric, you're their only hope. It you're lasts the only for one three hours. Out of the building. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to punch our I way am, through wait, the drywall. Hold on, <laughs> hold on wait. I would like to um, kick this door, though. Yeah, kick it. Giant kick it, and then kick the wall next to it too. Yeah, can I just can I just bust the fuck out of this wall? Oh yeah. Can you do that? This too? one. Yeah. yeah this this one. one. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Now I can. Hey. Fit. Yeah, get. I think I figured out a way to get us through this place. Oh yeah, just bust kick all the doors. The building. Um. Kick, kick more. Hey, uh, hey, 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 Brad. Do you know a way out of here? Uh, yeah. You can, uh, you can take the secret portal. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wait. Shows. Yeah, no, yeah. no, 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 no. It's, it's the weekend. They, they turn that off until Monday. Are you something about the electricity bill? I don't know. Seems kind of cheap. Well, to I'm me. gonna kick this door down. Can you show us okay. where it is before Gigi kicks all the walls down? It's actually back where you guys came from. Are you, are you kidding? The TV? thing or i don't know i don't know what the tv is uh the portal that gg kicked uh no 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 the door right at the front of the building oh where the snooty guy walked through oh you met mr snooty we met mr <laughs> snooty and he yeah hey kick this one too, what too. a fitting name kick it. yeah i'd like to kick this wall please <laughs> thanks i fucking love this system all right, well, um... Is this where we came in? Oh, look, a door. No, I don't... I think <laughs> GG has to just kick it shit now. Come on, okay, gonna... come on, uh, come on, Brad. If I could, if I could just... Do you guys want to play with the sacrificial tables for the weekend? What are hey, we gonna... If I can just stop floating, that'd be cool. Yeah, you gotta... There you go, you're coming down. You Am gotta I? hold Y. And go down. I just, I don't see this. Oh, there you go. Oh, there you go. It was just so exciting. Oh, I just was <laughs> on a whole nother level. Uh oh, it's I found contagious. It. I found it's it. contagious. Yeah, I'm good. I'm Whoa. Coming back down. Yeah, you should go look Whoa. at what uh, what Gigi just found. Gigi, what'd you just kick? She's she's looking here. Are you sure you don't have like one more spell left to get you in there? Because I think uh, if I break a wall, I might break what's inside. Oh shoot! Well, come from the side here. Hey, hey! It looks like if you kick this wall right here. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'll go. I'll go. Yeah. yeah. You kick that wall, and then I could fit. 
Why do you keep walking away every time I follow you somewhere? Sorry, you just don't take off sorry, with your big long legs. To, we're too big for the doors. Well, I'm too small to keep up with you guys. This is crazy. Well, you stay right there. Follow my voice. I mean, I can just walk through the you door can, like a person. Yeah, just come right right through here. This, I know it's machine? made for kobolds, but come on. I think it's so you can practice kicking. Yeah, what, kick, well, what, don't kick the game. One of the you. kobolds is like, that seems a little small for you there, miss. Would you like me to size it up? Uh, uh, can you do that? Yeah. Yes. Oh, okay. That'll be two tokens. Or two wait. units? Uh, That'll two be two units. units. Okay, we got... We'll <laughs> okay, you, here's, we'll give you 20 here's units. two units, Wink. Oh, okay. That'll give you enough to play for two years. There you go. <laughs> Oh, uh, I bet you know what? I bet GG would fucking destroy DDR. <laughs> he probably oh, yeah. would. I don't kick, have very kick, high acrobatics, so <laughs> you know. Just dance. And this is oh, how we spend our that. weekend. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Who needs well, a can't... portal back when you have DDR? Monday Monday morning, all of the uh, office staff from this marketing agency. Um <clears throat> comes back to find their most of their walls missing all of their monitors on the ground um and then uh chad and a bunch Just of knocked out kobolds yep <laughs> they're still sleeping peacefully surely they were be awake by then non-lethally killed indeed <laughs> non-lethal kills uh... yeah and i guess uh We'll fade Thus out. Ends our, <laughs> we'll fade our out on GG. Hey, GG, why don't you roll like one performance acrobatic something and let's uh, see how good you are at this real quick before we fade out. Those are the same modifier for me. Okay. <laughs> oh, I rolled a four. So oh, that's a yeah. six. Oh, it's a learning curve. And you're also a giant <laughs> right now. Look, oh, yeah. look, Bronze here. Not the barmaid's how... here. Finn's here. <laughs> <laughs> We spend the whole weekend just doing uh taking turns. They could hear the the jubilation yeah, coming all right. the way through the portal. So they all just came in to check it out. That's uh, funny. Yeah, that's a good that's a good uh fade out fade out spot. Thanks, right Jim. This is fun. Jim, this yeah. was some so fun. I'm gonna see how far can I oh god, how far can I zoom out? Jeez. You can see the whole thing. yeah. <laughs> Holy shit, look at this guys. Jim said this is uh, 750,000 squares. 7,750. 7,750. Uh, a little bit less than 750,000, but still quite <laughs> a lot. Um, what is this? A map for ants. There we go. I'm back in. I'm back in. Um, let's go around. Um, hey, Jim, why don't you go ahead and, uh, exp uh, you know, explain what the system that we've been using all night is where can people play this how can people use this system for themselves uh yeah when and where they so, can use it yep tabulous ono um that's the name of the system tabulous ono.com it's free you can do uh, everything that we just did in here you can do for free there's also a sub on top of that if you want uh even more miniatures there's a, I think there's 800 in our free miniature library right now. That's all of these. Um, <clears throat> tons of props and little things like that. Obviously, our goal here is to keep things somewhat lower fidelity so that you can focus more on the dynamic aspects of gameplay rather than just like spending six hours beforehand to make the perfect masterpiece, knowing that the players are never going to go into that room that you designed for them. Um, so I made sure trying we went to just into almost of, every room. Yeah, just for you. I, went around kicking every room, so that. we saw everything. <laughs> I'm glad you did. We, we almost didn't find the DDR machine. I know. Right, right. that should have been that the would have been class. a tragedy. <laughs> we <laughs> never got our BLTs. That's yeah. right. uh, well, Sven, Sven's here. Sven's here. Yeah, yeah it's Sven's Sven, here. Sven brought 12 BLTs. Oh, okay. We uh, never uh, actually discovered. <laughs> He's keeping you fueled throughout your uh, just yeah. dance. We never actually figured out where the stolen goods were. Oh no, we just <laughs> no, killed we the just dude and we didn't shit ask him. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Well, we'll say the queen was the bad guy the whole time. Yeah, Chad Ooh. was actually a decent person. Mm. Whoops. <laughs> oh shit. Yep. So if you um, if you dig it and you want to try it out, there's uh, there's no reason not to. Just go to tabulasono.com, make a game, give it a whirl. 
Um, and then if you like us, you can pop into our Discord if you find any issues uh, or anything like that. Always there. Always happy to answer questions. Um, and we're, we just actually did our public launch a couple, uh, like a month ago, I think. A little less than a month yeah, ago. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't even think a month yet. Yeah. Yep, a little less than a month. It was uh, end of August, so August 19th, I believe. Mm -hmm. But that was, we were triple funded in our Kickstarter back in April. Um, so we took that time to finish some things up, but we're still going fast. So every every two weeks, we're adding three, four, or five new features and like another hundred free minis. Uh, and we'll keep that pace up for as long as people are interested. Yeah, uh, Jim mentioned right before we started that they just added chat like uh, a couple days ago. And because I, I was saying, I was like, I really like the chat, how you can close it, pull it back up. Real, oh, whoops, I accidentally pulled the library up, pull it back up real easy and uh, put it wherever you want. Yeah, love it. Um, also, yeah, so, uh, you know, there's those tabletop games that have like, you could spend hours on making maps, but I, I played around in this and like you said it's super easy to just you literally i i mean i don't have the gm uh like in, enabled on me right now but you can literally just like click click draw a wall raise lower it as much like just right on the fly is is easy and also uh pop maps down if you want onto the floor it's amazing um also yep. um I will i i will talk about a couple things real quick and then let cage and jeremy talk about their shit um uh, because I got the perfect perfect segue into GooseCon. Uh, Jim is going to be at GooseCon with some demo stations for Tabula Sono. Also, um, we are going to be doing a Majestic Goose Tabula Sono one-shot there, uh, which I'm very excited for. We're going to have a projector uh, hooked up to uh, some laptops so we can play it on the system and show it onto a big screen, and it's going to be amazing. Uh, we're going to be playing it with some geese live in our in our uh, breakout room. So very excited for that. Um, also very excited to just see the uh, Tabula Sono demo stations. Uh, so if you haven't yet and you're going to or you would be able to make it to Cincinnati, Ohio in about three weeks from today, exactly, which is very nerve wracking and very soon, uh, you can head on down to GooseCon. Um, let me drop a link real quick right there uh you can grab a weekend badge for like 40 bucks or a day badge for like 15 or 20 depending on what day you want to come for it's gonna be a lot of fun um that's really all i want to plug is just uh goose con goose con Go goose con that's, that's what i've been focusing all my energy on in like for the past couple of weeks months months now uh cage where can people find you at yeah, thanks everybody for tuning in. I'm Cage. I use she her as pronouns and I've been GG for you tonight. I am a streamer, community manager, and tabletop freelance tabletop writer and layout designer. Um, you can find me on my Twitch channel, Rage X Cage X Rugger, as it says in chat. Next week, actually a week from tomorrow, I'll be doing a subathon. So it'll be a marathon stream. So definitely drop on by. We'll be um, doing some multiplayer stuff with followers. Um, but also just some chill solo streams. Um, my most recent product that's out there is um, I was one of the writers on Elminster's Excellent Establishments, which mm. you can find on the DMs Guild. And you can also find me as Soul Red Blue Hammer on the Eclipse podcast uh, by Majestic Goose Network with these other two chuckle fucks. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so... Um, definitely check those different things out. You can find everything else about me on my website, ragecagerugger.com. That's just R-A-G-E-K-A-G-E-R-U-G-G-E-R.com. Yeah, if you haven't checked out uh, <laughs> Eclipse yet, you really need to. It's been a lot of fun. Uh, mm -hmm. Jeremy, speaking of Eclipse, where can people find you at? Hey, I'm Jeremy, and um, I am the DM of Eclipse, and that is a sci-fi fantasy Dungeons & Dragons podcast, so go check that out. Uh, you can also find me on the dms guild dungeon masters guild where i have four published um campaigns where you can play through a lot of them take you from like level one to eight or eight to twelve or one of them lets you choose whatever level you want so go check that out um just search jeremy fair to find that stuff you can also find me on my own twitch page which is master uzaru which you can see in the chat there 
a lot of times in streaming either Sea of Thieves or Fortnite. And then recently we've been playing the uh, Digimon card game. So sometimes I'm opening booster backs. Sometimes we're playing games against other people. Uh, go check that out. But um, other than that, you can just find me right here on the Majestic Goose Network. Yeah, and I uh, I triggered off a raid to Death Saves with Advantage. They are currently playing Dungeons and Dragons as well, and I really like the name, uh, so that's how I picked it. <laughs> um, thank you all so much for watching. Again, uh, definitely make sure to head over to tabulasono.com. It's completely free, and like Jim mentioned, uh, we were looking for minis for ourselves tonight. I think every mini you you've seen tonight has been in the free library, which is yep fuck wild like all of i know all of ours are i know myself and uh and and eric and gg were all free miniature i so. literally made my account like three hours ago <laughs> yeah. so that's how easy it was for me to start playing yeah and you can just hop <laughs> i mean you could literally i i i'm telling you though uh the first time you play it changes the way you play ta tabletop rpgs because i mean you saw like just us like blocking each other in and not and like us having to ask like hey can you scoot so i can leave this room and it really brings like a whole nother level of role play to it it's a lot of fun um our raid's about to kick off so again thank you all i hope to see some of you at goose con in three weeks and uh other than that uh we will see you on our next stream which i think is uh wednesday crits and nits i think bye everybody the, <laughs> the raid was ending uh